The Three Cuckoos Podcast is part of the Pod Gods Network. Hello and welcome along to the Three Cuckoos Podcast. My name is Robert Dodsworth and uh, this is Mr. Mark Ibbotson. No. And this is Mr. Timothy Newsom Ward. What's up? And this is the Three Cuckoos Podcast. Three Cuckoos, welcome to the show. Rob can't hear in stereo because he's different one here. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome along to the Three Cuckoos Podcast. We're finally here. A little bit <laughs> little bit late tonight, a little bit late. Dick- whose fault that is. I was dicking around with cables. Oh, no, yeah. Nice. It is my favourite part time. Yeah. Past time. Sorry. What is? Yeah. Dicking pa- around with cables. They like laying the cable. Ooh. I like laying cables. Yeah. How are we all tonight? Everybody okay? Checking good. in? We've got good, a, good. a lot of uh, listeners tonight, boys we? and girls. Yeah, Nerdy Vixen's checked in this week. Hash. Hello. Yeah, that's good. Hey, Hello there. Yo, hey. Um, so, yeah, I'm Rob. This is Mark. Hello. And that's Tim. As we oh. said. What, what? Yeah. what and, um, episode number is it, Rob? 40. Four. Oh, boom. Yo. <laughs> 40 boys We're 10 off half a century old yeah actually this is Tim's age now yeah Tim's age. <laughs> big foot oh it is not quite no, no near, not, near. not quite nearly a few yeah, years nearly. left um, yeah so uh, what have you done this week dude you've been plasterboarding plasterboarding did you do that or did somebody else do that somebody else did that <laughs> yeah somebody else did that I helped <laughs> I you tidied made, up, brushed, you made, the made coffee, and some backing held, vocals. I held, yeah, I did sing a bit. Yeah. I held some of the boards up. Made, cool. I made the plaster. Yes. Um, I've been working as well, catching up on films. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's caught up on his films. Yeah, he loves episodes, you watch, don't he? Did you watch that as well? Didn't watch True Detective. Yeah, probably I, best. Because Abs wants to watch it, and she's uh, not been in the mood for it. Probably best. <laughs> no one's ever going to be in the mood to watch that. If I, if I lived, like... I'm waiting for Andrea to watch this with yeah. me. I'd That's never get I'm anything like. watched. I have to do what I get yeah. tanned. Get my, high, my ass tanned. You get your ass tanned. <laughs> yeah, why? It's why? Just, just, just it watch it. No, it's just... Just watch it. Don't tell him you've watched it and then watch it again. I'm, I'm with him on that. Don't tell him you've watched it. Although you might like, have to sit through it Game again. of Thrones. Yeah. Just be like... <gasps> Oh my god! <laughs> Just you before it happens. Pretending. Yeah. Oh, sorry. But <laughs> he dies now. <laughs> oh dear. And dragons. <laughs> Shit. Sorry about that, love. It just appears when the boobs are going to come on. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, he's timed it. So 20 minutes in, he just appears. It's got black squares that appears on the screen. <laughs> uh, it's like you knew. Cool. I've had to go to. Uh, I've had to go to children's play oh this week yeah what was it she's been practicing for a long long time peter oh. pan all right do you know what the actual story of peter pan is shit i don't know how it stood the test of time it's still you know when they go oh it's like years years old yeah it's, yeah, it is. yeah why it's crap and they've just done a new pan a new film called pan pan just pan Pants. it's, it's about just about that? a fucking pan that'd be it a talking it pan it's disney pixar yeah just pans They're just pans and cutlery they um, did that were they all in like Beauty and the Beast? Yeah. Oh yeah, they did. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Um, salt and pepper. It was okay. Not the backing singer. They were all upstaged by a guy dressed as a wave. It was very, very <laughs> funny. There was a man dressed as a, were, a wave, all, like, were, like in the sea. Yeah, there was a part where they were all meant to be at sea. Yeah, and um, or near the sea. Ah, I was <laughs> <laughs> <It's> just sat <laughs> through. And um, there was like these kids like dressed in all in blue. Yeah, and there was just they had like those sheets. That you put over, but you can see through them. But you, you know, like guys go in them in stag do's, don't they? And it's like an all in one. Oh, yeah. But you can see through it. Yeah, yeah. And um, it, there was just a kid sat there in that, like picking his nose and stuff. <laughs> and obviously he thought you couldn't tell the whole out, you could tell the exact shape of this kid. It was just funny. He just sat there bored. How long was it? Um, it was quite long, actually. It was probably about an hour and a half. Oh. They had an intermission. Yeah. Did you have ice cream? <laughs> there was like there was like the Chalk old, ice. <laughs> Chalk ice, love. There was like one little girl Albatross. crying her eyes out, bless her. Um, but Peter Pan, obviously, they didn't have strings or anything like that. Yeah. So there was this one scene where he's meant to teach Wendy how to fly. It was at like seven o'clock at night. Did they have a stall? They didn't have swearing in it or stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. And like homemade stuff. The sandwiches that were just a little bit hard. <laughs> just curling at the edge. <laughs> yeah. Egg. Only he's been here. Egg and crest. Tuna. <laughs> 
I think I had a tuna one actually. Dried. Why does this tuna taste like <laughs> yeah. chicken? It was like a colonic irrigation in the morning. Ooh. Um, so yeah, but obviously they didn't have wires or anything. So there's this one scene where Pan's meant to teach Wendy how to fly. Yeah. And he just goes through this curtain and he just stands there and just wiggles like ah, He's meant to be flying. <laughs> and it was like, what was that? I looked at Andrea and went, what was that? <laughs> he was meant to be flying. All right. <laughs> Looked really camp, actually. But um, the little kid who played Hook. Yeah. Dr. Hook. Obviously, it's Captain Hook. Um, he what, was Dr. Hook he and was, Bam? Yeah. <laughs> no, but, but, no, it was 10cc. Um, he was wicked. He was, was really he? good. Yeah. Proper lording it up. So, yeah. Chicken what did was Jess in it? To him. Yeah, yeah. Credit what was she? Him. She played Cubby, one of the lost oh, really? boys. Yeah. Nice. Oh, good. She Lawn's was, here. She was wicked. Um, uh, it was wicked. lower the tone. Well, and that's that, this Lord. week's uh, finish then. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Lawn. <laughs> keep bleeding. Keep, keep bleeding. I was going to actually give you your own intro this week, Lawn, by uh, um, Leona Lewis, Leona but I thought Lewis. I better not. Does might, he actually know Leona might Lewis? Might get upset. Do no, I don't think he knows her know personally, her. does he? Horse face. What? Yeah. <laughs> Why the long face? Oh, was she the one who got punched? Um, uh, CD signing? Yeah. Serious? She, yes. Yeah, she did. Some long. <laughs> yeah. He just walked up and punched her in the face. Yeah. Wow. And it's went, blurred. sign that! <laughs> no, I don't think he actually said that. It'd have been funny if he had. Um, yeah. I wish it were me. Hardcore. <laughs> Hardcore that, though, innit? Getting well, punched at a signing. Well, yeah, it's pretty brutal. It's not, it's not her fault he doesn't like her. <laughs> It's his fault if you think about it. Maybe he it thought is. she were a horse. He should have gone home and punched people himself. There's an arse loose. People do punch There's an arse loose. Punch it. Yeah, exactly. They do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, feel sorry for the kid playing the crocodile. There actually wasn't a crocodile. How can there not be a crocodile in Peter Pan? It was all sound RSPCA. effects. It was all sound effects and lighting. It was all CGI. <laughs> <laughs> Blue screened it on. Afterwards. Yeah. Um, there was one bit where they're meant to trap Tinkerbell in like... Um, like a, it was. I think it was just a cup with a lid on. Yeah. Um. And what they did was they pretended to shrink her down. It was just a little cardboard cut out of actual Tinkerbell stuck oh, yeah. in a. Yeah. <laughs> worked for me. <laughs> Is it good, Rob? Did you it enjoy was, it? It was funny. Out of thirteen yeah. cuckoos, what would you give it? Oh, solid thirteen. Wow. Well yeah. done. And the sun is I at half time. Biased. Booyaka. Do you think so? Well, yeah, because your own daughter was in it. Yeah. Yeah. It was wicked. Did you step Finley? And my wife did makeup as well. Kind of wow. some of it. Um, yeah, I took Finn. Yeah, he loved it. He loved it. Literally sat through it. Like, He's into stuff glued like that, to it. Yeah. He thought he it was wicked. Oh, he He's into the theatre. Yeah. He likes his films, yes. <laughs> He's refined. Father, <laughs> take, take me to the theatre. Take me to my wine <laughs> while I watch Peter Pan. <laughs> yeah. Father. Father, take me to the theatre. <laughs> I'm bored. I want to see a play. <laughs> he plays a good hook, but he's no Derek Jacobi. <laughs> Derek played it so much better. Darling. Darling. <laughs> and who, God damn it, painted that moustache on him? Actually, Finley, it was your mum. <laughs> oh, bloody Sag moment. Her. Did she do the moustaches? <laughs> like Stewie Griffin. Yeah. Did she? She did some of the tashes. Yeah. She did some of the tashes. No, I didn't. No, I didn't allow that. I didn't allow that. Uh, <laughs> so no, it was good. Um, the only problem, the only downside is when your kid's doing something like that, you've got to ferry them up and down and bloody hell. Yeah. Saturday, it was like you've got to take her there for how, like half twelve. She does a matinee as well. A oh, matinee. So this- oh, she do- she performed it like eighty two times. <laughs> Jesus. By the time, yeah. So she's, she's quite refined. She's bloody like bored of it. To be fair. Yeah. Did but, they sing? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, songs. Yeah. When did they sing? Um, I couldn't name you anything, man. Jolly good. Couldn't name you all. The Peter That's Pan the songs. You know, like yeah. in the new... All the songs. All, I mean, all the hits. Obviously, we're in, we're in the UK and Panto's massive over here. Oh, right, no, at Christmas. And they, <laughs> oh, oh, yes, it is! is. <laughs> um, and they do. They obviously drop, like, brand new songs into, uh, into performances <laughs> and stuff. Um, yeah. But this one, they didn't, didn't drop any, like, hits. <laughs> it was oh. all, like, you know, just normal Peter Pan yeah. stuff. It was dead boring. It's Rob no, that it likes good. the drag. Lawn, not the, the drag. No, I'm not a he drag likes fan. Drag. I think I upset Leah that time. I said I don't like drag. He's been watching that yeah. RuPaul's whatever drag race thing, hasn't you? Is that? Oh. What, oh, do you know what? She keeps haunting me, going past on buses. Who? RuPaul. RuPaul. Like, <laughs> yeah, like thirty foot. Have RuPaul. you not seen it? No, I don't watch it. I'm yeah. not watching that. It's terrifying. Don't go breaking my heart with Elton John was da, the da, worst da, thing that RuPaul's da, ever done. Da. I thought that What's was. That? I thought that was the last time we'd ever see that as well. Yeah. Did she sing yeah. that? Yeah. Who with? Um, Elton John. Oh, it says it's a he, of course. Yeah, yeah. So Don't he actually like he like presents it, but not in drag. Who? RuPaul. RuPaul. What? Not in drag. Yes, yeah, so I've never seen. I was like, who's this black bloke? <laughs> <laughs> and Catherine was like, I didn't know there was that's any. RuPaul. I'm like, fizzy fuck. It's like <laughs> some bald bloke. He's he bald. Was dressed quite. Yeah, really. <laughs> he was dressed quite. You know, 
A bit conservatively? No, not at all. Oh, right, he had okay. this enormous like Willy Wonka bow tie thing going on. <laughs> Willy Wonka. She's like, it's RuPaul. And I was like, it's Come with me. And then one of the contestants is like, oh, Ru. And they call them all ladies. They had to make a boat this week. A boat? Fuck knows why we were watching it. But we Out did. of... Well, they had to decorate and it. And then they dressed chocolate. up and did like the catwalk thing. Rob, you'd have fucking loved it. Oh, I don't think so. You would. No, I don't you think it's so. It's on Pick TV. You'd have loved it. Mm, not sure. On Pick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> beautiful. RuPaul's Drag Race. RuPaul. Or RuPaul. Yeah. Mm, great. Yeah. So, no, to be fair. And you have loads of black people that in was, England. That was it. On. <laughs> well, that's where they come after you've driven them out. <laughs> I saw one on one of those little fold-up bikes dressed as a skeleton coming here. Really? Yeah, massive, massive he does, dude. Vixen, you're right. He's, he looked like a, um, Billy he's Ocean. A much better, much, much Caribbean better looking queen. woman. There was, there was a guy coming here tonight. He wasn't coming here, I was. And um, he was on a little fold-up bike, you know, one of those big... I'll get a picture of one for next week for you, and I'll tweet you it. What? Oh, Carry right. on. Sorry, yeah. And um, he was dressed as a skeleton. Yeah. He had one of those old-school bed hats on that comes down at the front. And um, he was riding this little bicycle. Who was? This big black dude. <laughs> coming here. He was like, coming here. Fuck's he you should have invited him onto the show. <laughs> Delivering sweets. He could have said, hey to Lorne. Hey, hey Lorne. Hey, fucker. Yeah. Caribbean queen. <laughs> that's, what he, that's what he looked like. He looked like Billy Ocean. Well, so I sang that well. out of the window at him and he rode off. What a name. Billy Ocean. Just I don't brilliant. think it's his real name. It's a great name, isn't it? Mm. A stage name. It's brilliant. Billy Ocean. Yeah, I suppose it is. What, what have you done this week, man? <laughs> yeah, let's move on. Uh, so, yeah. Don't, don't talk about it yet. We'll talk about Thursday, it. Thursday, I went to see um, Jurassic World. <laughs> you did? Did you do anything else? Uh, I went to the fake festival at Roundy Park. Oh, yeah. On Saturday. Was it good? Uh, fake. Um, Stone Roses were all right. Right. I don't really like Stone Roses. No. Um, Me neither, to you be fair. You two. I don't like you two. And they were terrible. So it was a terrible band murdering songs I don't even like. Were they? Were yeah, they, they were awful? Really? Yeah, they were really But like, they're like quite big on the scene <laughs> of fakers. They were awful. Even Catherine said they're really bad. She moves in mysterious, mysterious ways. <laughs> was I better? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you were. You right. could quite easily have been Bono. Sweet. Bono. And B- then the Bonio. four fighters were on. Yeah. And they were really good. Yeah, they're awesome. I'd are they going to them on their own. Are they going to fill in? They are good. They are good. They are they going to fill in brilliant. at Glastonbury now? No, they've <laughs> no. just promoted Florence and the Machine. Have they? Is yeah, that what they've done? The, because they, can't, they won't be able to book anyone now. No, they won't. No, they, they won't. Florence will still be good. Mm, they should have like got, got like some... How really... glad am I that we didn't get tickets? Yeah, yeah. Without a doubt. That's what I said when he came in. Fucking Kanye West. Have you seen? Have you seen some of the footage of when he fell off stage? In Gothenburg. Yeah. Have you seen uh, it? Like, Excuse me. All the band are like, oh my God, holy shit. And then he comes back on, bless him. He, he looks really upset, actually, with himself. Maybe it was just pain. Yeah. <laughs> or the, the painkillers that he was on. How oh, glad am I? We got tickets for Manchester. Absolutely. Yeah. My mates he used to work with gutted because they've cancelled the rest of the time. Yeah. He, had t- he had tickets for Wembley. They'll do it. They'll do it. As oh. soon as he's back on his feet, they'll, they'll <laughs> rearrange. They'll rearrange. Why is he just doing a wheelchair or a gurney or something? I think, no, it's just not the same, is it? Oh, is it? It's a pretty good break. They yeah, said it'd be, clean break. They said it'd be lasting damage, didn't they, if, if he was going to carry on? Yeah. He needs to be off his feet. <laughs> So yeah, that was good. It was a good day. It was a nice day as well. So yeah, it's meant to be cool. A few beers and stuff. These are the fake. Hellfire. These are, they do these thing right over yeah. here called fake festivals. I think they're fairly new, aren't they? Yeah. And they get all these bands that are like four fighters, the obviously. Bands, yeah, yeah the tribute bands. And what was you two called? Were it like the uh, real thing, even better than the real thing, or something like that? It certainly weren't even better than um, anything. And there's like lost. What's it? Caught in a storm. I can't remember Maybe what. And there's and but there's loads One. of them. There's like Coldplay and. Primal, primal Scream, Oasis. Prodigy, Oasis, <laughs> oh, Oasis. 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 They could eat peaches for our <laughs> Um And they, yeah, they, so they, and they all get together and play. Yeah, it was good. It's there was only cool. three on, but they were good. Yeah, it was done by like half ten. Oh, sweet. Need to go up now. Yeah, there was, this, some... it, there was this. Yeah, there was this little kid. who was like five, six on his dad's shoulders, and he was proper giving it some with nice. the full of rock Good fingers. Lad. Really nice. going for it. it During White Limo. Doing everything. <laughs> he was <laughs> just like, his dad had to keep taking down because he was knackered. Yeah. And his kid's just like, ah! looking for someone else to put him on his shoulders, and he was just, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it hurts your amazing. shoulders, man. It hurts amazing. your shoulders. This kid proper going for it. Yeah. It was so funny. Jesse, Jesse used to lean over, and you're like, you're going to break my neck. <laughs> Stop it. You're going to break it. It's going. Sweet. 
So we're going to talk about... Shall we? Yeah. I, well, we both went to see Jurassic World this week. <laughs> and um, I absolutely loved it. I did. And I, I was just like, it was loads of fun. I went with my little girl and she was like scared at bits. Yeah. And then um, like loving it at others. And I, so I was like nudging her going, oh my God, this is going to happen. This <laughs> is going to happen. And it was cool. It was cool. It was yeah. fun. And it was just, it was fast paced actually. Yeah. I thought it was wicked. 13 cuckoos, I would give it. I would give it 11. It was Ooh. solid. It was solid. Now, Mark, you went to see it as well, didn't you? I'm so <laughs> intrigued, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been right since Sunday, right? And yeah. I heard Mark's little, ver- little verdict to give yeah. me a sneak peek. Fuck you, Doug. I've been like, what? what is he going on? Go, go on. I'm going to leave it to you, right? Open the floor. <laughs> let's, just, let's have a few seconds of silence before he can... Don't talk, don't talk. It was awful, man. <laughs> what was good about it? What was good talk about it? Talk to me. Just talk about Tell it. Tell me what was good about it. There was... The storyline was pathetic, Didn't you right? Like it? The, the acting was dreadful, dreadful. They mostly they they mostly are kind of. The only redeeming feature that parts. film had was the special effects were quite good. Oh yeah, it added nothing new. It was basically one and three just mashed together. Here's a park. Here's a new dinosaur. It gets out. There was not, and then this bloke who's got tame raptors. Come on, and then the whole buddy movie thing with the raptor and the T Rex at the end. Fuck you. They did a hold Fuck my you. body tight. Don't listen to I him just about threw the my end. Fu- I just fucking it's a surprise. I just fucking threw my glasses at Catherine. Oh, this is fucking. I oh, you saw it three D as well. I was oh, yeah. deeply upset. Oh, yeah. I just thought this is going to be ace, and it was fucking dreadful. Oh man, I give it three, <laughs> three <laughs> cuckoos, <laughs> three cuckoos. So it's quite a contrast. It's just pointless. There was no point in doing it. Doug, you loved it. Nerdy, special effects were you amazing. You loved it. Um, I loved it. Honestly, I did. I loved it. I there, hope I love it. I, I was saying to Tim before I came. There was this two films that I've seen recently that I just I loved and I could have watched them straight again after and one was Jurassic World and one was Guardians of the Galaxy I loved what that what about film. Free Jack but it's just fuck all point in, there was fuck Free all Jack point in the film it. there was no point the one two and three were better than that so what was the point in making it I loved it what I mean, was the point I'd in like the to film watch them all again it was maybe one it was day. utterly it, oh, it had they're all on ones. ITV too. oh no <laughs> hang on they were in three what the flying, flying ones pterodactyls. pterodactyls they were in three yeah these were a little bit different weren't they these were like um they had like had sharp teeth and stuff the pterodactyls had like long beaks, didn't they? In the third one, they yeah. were massive as well. Yeah, they were in those big cages, weren't they? Like they yeah, had to get yeah. did it in three. It was cool. The only good, the only good character was that Asian guy, and he died. Oh, he was good. He was brilliant. I liked him. Hello. I just thought <laughs> you just found him funny, didn't you? Yeah, dude, he was great. <laughs> he was great. He was like the owner. Yeah, or whatever. I like the new oh, guy. Oh, in January they're taking over. <laughs> that were done in two. Oh, oh um, Private Pile was in it as well, wasn't it? What's he? the fucking point? They Be just honest. took all yeah. the other films, mashed them together and made one that wasn't as good as any of the others, including three, and that wasn't good at all. I don't but, remember. You see, this is what you get with the cuckoos, right? We've got different opinions. Yeah. You get you get a complete yeah, yeah, yeah. light and shade of films. You see? It's good. Light yeah. and shade. Was there any good trailers that you saw as well? Did no. you see Southpaw, which is Jake Gyllenhaal's new film coming no. out? You know where he plays that boxer? And he's, there's been pictures of him in the yes. press for ages. Yes, Lo-Fi. It was totally believable. Oh, my God. <laughs> Southpaw. It yeah. just looks really dramatic, but it looks cool. Hmm? looks really good. So that might be worth oh, watching. Oh, no. Ant-Man looks the, dreadful. The, 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 <laughs> no, no. The, there was a trailer Ant-Man, of Ant-Man. No, it looks awful. Yeah, I, I'm Look looking forward to Ant-Man. Look at Tim's got a boner now. Yeah. <laughs> Ant-Man, Come on, A Come really on, tiny ant-sized boner. <laughs> Not, yeah. Was, oh, yeah. No, that looks awful. It looks more like a comedy, doesn't it, Ant Man? Yeah. To be fair, where it, they're like having a proper fight, then it who's the guy zooms in it? out. Paul, it's Paul who? Rudd. Paul Rudd from Fuck. Anchorman. He's uh, Michael Douglas, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah, great! He is. Oh yeah, great! He is. Oh, I love Michael Douglas. I like, I you liked him in the game, Douglas. didn't you? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've liked Michael Douglas in anything. I like my basic disclosure. I've never not, seen not disclosure. Is it disclosure? Is in? Yeah, oh, it is yeah, disclosure. Yeah, yeah. Demi. Where he takes her over. I like the... basic instinct. Is it Demi? Or it is it Demi. Demi. Depends if Demi. you know her or not. It dep- <laughs> depends if you're American or British. Over here, it's Demi. Over Demi. There it's Fuck Paul. Demi. Demi. <laughs> Demi. Demi. She's not black. You just call her half. No. Um, so you oh. what? So Hannibal started again. Oh God! <laughs> From Talking Jurassic things, World it. to fucking Hannibal. Now. Yeah, Hannibal, am I confused or what? Right, I've seen two episodes of yeah. Hannibal, right? This season three, we're on, isn't it? Yeah. Now, yeah. It, it, now it did have a little knack of losing me, if yeah. I'm completely honest. Was it season two or three? It's three. that you got. Like, didn't you get lost at the beginning of it's, two, though? It's very Halfway through. poetic, isn't it? <clears throat> Don't you think? It's, be... a bit, it's, it's just, just it's gone totally up its own ass. Yeah, it has. What is this about now? But, do you know when he goes... Right, there's a scene, there's a bit in the second episode where Will goes to 
Will. Where does he go? Goes to I want to say Florence, but yeah, I don't think it is. I think it is. It's like it's somewhere. somewhere in Italy. It's somewhere, yeah, <clears throat> in Italy, because he knows that that's where he's going to be. Yeah, and he takes the girl with him as well. Apparently, she survived. But then halfway through the episode, she just starts bleeding out. She's dead. And then it turns out she's dead. She's dead. Well, and I was like, what the? F- is it going to be one of those non-linear things where oh, the, the more it goes, you're going to see things that have happened before and after? Like no. Matt says, on a it's- scale of one to ten, how many shits were given? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. It really does The first episode it all in his head. made no sense whatsoever. I'm glad it None of it made no, no sense. Not, not one bit of it. I don't I know. I didn't get what was going it. on. No, I, I'd I'm nearly finished two, season one because the end of two was great. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, the, the season finale of two was amazing. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, uh, but three, I don't get it. No, I don't get. I don't understand. And they had. Um, there's a scene where Gillian Anderson kind of sinks into the bath, and I think they've edited her nipples out. Ah, <laughs> oh, definitely not watching. Maybe it she now. hasn't got any. She maybe, has. maybe so. Maybe she, <laughs> Tim. Has, she yeah, has. She, I've seen them. She has. In what? <laughs> Oh, it, was it the changeling or what? What, what was it oh, called? Uh, yeah, I think it was actually. Yeah, yeah, it did the rounds. Yeah, I'm not even but sure I'm going to carry on watching it. Hannibal, you said yeah. that, didn't you? I'm one of these people who I kind of have to see where it's going to go. Why now. would you want to watch it? It's garbage. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm bit, I'm bit. I don't know oh, if I'm going to be watching. Sorry, I'm going to wait till you end because I've got this rule really now that if if it gets three, if it's got three seasons, I'll watch it. If it's not got. Like, I don't, I can't watch things the that... The Ghost Whisperer have, got three seasons. <laughs> yeah, so you can watch that. But you, it's like, yeah, it's like things that start and then they get canned after the first season. It's like you've yeah. invested, like, hours of your time watching these things, they get canned. So my rule of thumb now is, is not to watch anything that doesn't have more than three seasons. Well, what, oh, well what's your excuse for not watching Walking Dead? Because it's shit. <laughs> oh, it's good as Walking Dead. It's uh, great. No, Ab, honestly, right, Ab wants to watch Walking Dead. She wants to give it another go, so I will give it another go. Yeah. I think you'll get into you it. You won't have a honestly. choice, but give it a go. The first it? season was dull, and it got even duller. The first we, season was brilliant. We have similar tastes, right? And I I, I thought first season was all right, but it, it was short, so it was kind of over with, depending on what you thought yeah. of it. But then it does, it gets loads better, honestly. I hope so. Do you guys, can you guys talk about Game of Thrones? and Fill me in, please. Oh, there's no point in trying to fill you in. It was this long. Was this the last episode ever? No, right. was it balls? Should we give you... Give you yeah, the few, right books, the yeah. highlights, the highlights. Stannis Baratheon. Stan. No, you can't spoil it. What? Oh. You can't, people might not have seen it. You can't spoil it. Right? Can we just do a quick rundown on everybody who's live on Mixler now? Can we just go seen it? Can we just say you've seen it, please, just yeah. quickly? Because then they can fill me in. <laughs> if you haven't seen There's it, there's no I've point heard. in filling you in. Just watch it. Now, apparently, Lena Headley had a body double. Yeah, she did. did. She? It was yeah. they weren't. Yeah. Uh, her face you can see is CGI'd yeah. on. Everybody's saying they've seen it. Seen it, Doug's seen it, Nerdy's seen it, Loaf, I saw it. Right. Uh, Jon Snow definitely lives, he's says Loaf. Dead. He's dead. He's no, dead. He's, he's back. Yeah, he's everybody's not, seen he's it. He's dead. He's coming back. I think you can say I, that everybody's seen it. I was it. disappointed with it. What, yeah, you what said were you that, disappointed about? Because it just didn't... Ha- Lena Headless as boobs a, just as weren't no, I, I know what he's disappointed about, because eight and nine were so good. No, I eight just and think... Eight were eight. I think as a season, I don't think it had a good flow to it. I just it got to the end and I thought I'm a bit and Meh. there's no one really yeah <laughs> three letters yeah Meh. there was no one there's no one really left in it now who's, right. who I'm really bothered about no oh, and that's really? the problem now because you John Snow has kind of come to the sort he's bubbled up as, well me and him always say John Snow's the man yeah he's the main man well, we all sound and he still like him, is so that's he good. still is he's not he's dead no he's, he comes back <laughs> John Snow <laughs> he he's, gonna, he's, he's got to come who, back who's in it though who's, who's, back, who's in it now though who's going to be any good well, it's going to be about Daenerys isn't it yeah but I don't think she's a strong enough character well she's got they'll get another Yorkshireman in dragons. and you'll be there the dragons are all dead the dragons are cool Baratheon's dead Stannis and I was annoyed that they didn't Stannis who's the proper heir to the throne he's dead can we apply they killed the, him as well. The problem, so they killed three main characters. Yeah, but in one episode, and you're not happy. I've got. No, the I'd have been it. happy if if the, what I wanted out of that season was a win for like the good side, the good guys, because it's like there's been, it's all been like. Oh, Lord, you're disgusting. I, I just think it you was are just a little bit. Man. It was still good, but I was just a little bit disappointed with how it kind of played out. But supposedly, <laughs> the writers. Um, the guy who writes it, Thingy Martin, George, he doesn't have anything to do with the screenplays, and they write it how they want it. He's told them what's going to happen. Yeah, he's told he's told yeah. them the arc, but they all like the stuff yeah, where yeah, Thingy yeah. gets raped and um, Reek doing that thing. That doesn't happen in the books, supposedly. So shit, they've changed it to make it a bit more oh, TV. Do people are who go by the books all the time. 
through my head. In. <laughs> Walking Dead snow. <laughs> it's like Ollie. It's like well, Ollie. Yeah. Be. He's you see that woman? Life. That woman's yeah. turned. The, re- the Red Witch she, will bring him back. To do with her. Yeah, the Red Witch will bring him back. Doug says John will come back more powerful than ever. Oh, yeah, snow. Jedi John style. Snow. I we'll see. Know. He's not in the next season. Is he? No, because he said that. Yeah. He's, he's come out and said, I'm not in the next season. Mad Mac has come out and said there's there's more characters, so they've, they've got to have more episodes just to kill him off. Well, yeah. he, he hasn't finished writing the books. Hashtag, so. he where's Bran? <laughs> exactly. Well, exactly. Bran's, Bran. Bran's well, that's just what I mean. disappeared. Bran, Bran hasn't been in this he's season. He's one of the Stark kids. Yeah. He, hasn't he went been off in this with season. these two others who died. Yeah, yeah. Right. And he's, he's, his little brother, Rickon. He's with the fairy people. And um, the tree of fairies. The, the giant, uh, Hodo. Hodo. And they've they've not even they've been, they're in like episode one, and they've not yeah. been in it since. There's like a hashtag on. It's, uh, do you know why it Twitter, is? Hashtag do you know why that's happened? <laughs> because they caught up too quickly in the in the on the TV to where they've the books are. They've gone beyond the books though now, haven't they? Uh, little bits from this yeah. season have gone beyond the books. Ah, right, that's interesting then, isn't it? But so they could take but, it in a different direction now. They want they can do what they want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, a lot of the stuff it, they already yeah. have. Yeah, it's yeah. got too big now. It's got it's got that big now. It's it like, can write its own check. You know the the the. The woman knight, the really tall one who was just killed Stannis. Yeah. She doesn't do that in the book. That's all made up as well. But you don't know TV. he's dead. No, he isn't dead. They it's, just showed it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. They yeah, would. they just showed it. They show everyone else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Jon Snow. So, she, it's, so it's based on the books. Yeah. That's yeah, what they always based, based, based on. It's what it says. Yeah. It's what it says yeah. at the start. It, it's, it's been, this season's been cracking, but at the same time, I feel oh. a little bit disappointed with it, how it sort of finished. Not not that Jon Snow died, because that... Jon Snow! He's going to come back. I don't know. It just kind of, I just don't think the balance, that, like the other four, I mean, the problem is with it is it's been so good the yeah. whole way through. I think this season just dropped a little bit for me. I don't know <laughs> why. You just, when I watched it, me and Abs were like, yeah, just didn't have that. Didn't have that bit of spice. It, it just <laughs> needed. Right, right. I think, I think so that it, episode with all the White Walkers, that was Oh, shit. no, that was cracking. All oh, right. That was cracking. No, but I just mean as a whole season, I think, because there was that one great episode. Mm. <laughs> Weekend <and> at Jon Snow. <laughs> <laughs> Doug says John will come back as Caitlin. Yeah, that's yeah. That. yeah definitely. <laughs> Hi, Caitlin. No, John's got to be. John, John will Snow. come back. Joanne. Joanne Snow. Joanne Snow. Joanne Snow. I don't, I don't, it's, yeah, good show. But just a little disappointed no. with it. I don't know why, but I just they were just, supposed just, to. They were supposed to have brought people back from the dead already. Though, if it yeah. was gone to the books, yeah, yeah, because his mother should have come back as a zombie. Oh really? She does in the book, <gasps> apparently. Later. She died in season season. If two. they start bringing zombies in, I'm a bit. Well, here we go. I'm a bit <laughs> upset That's the about new, the. Ki- you know the, the new the Fear queen. of the Walking Dead. Yeah. It's the crossover. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Fear. Oh, well, of the it's all the dead ones out of Game of Thrones, wasn't it? Fear of dead game chasing, of Chasing Chasing the cast thrones. From the walking dead <laughs> That'd be funny Have you heard about the Because um, this is meant to be Daniel Craig's Last Bond film Isn't it Have you heard about this What's it called Skepta Skepta What's yeah. this jo- The next James Bond film Is called oh. Skepta No it's not Okay Yeah apparently it is no, Is it not Or is it's it called... No it's about Skepta Are they keeping that secret Skepta I don't, Spectre I Spectre Skepta That's it Skepta it, I don't know I, I think he's a, a rapper know. He was dyslexic <laughs> Was he in So Solid <laughs> Think so. Yeah, there was a trailer for that. It looks shit. What's that? Sector Bond. done. Oh, I like Bond. You don't like oh, Bond at all, do you? Off. Do you like the new ones? Jeez, I've never seen it because I won't. You won't, What's you the point? Not seen it around. They're all fucking same. Oh, the, no, the new ones are totally different. The new ones are totally different. No, seriously. I yeah. had to talk about fucking James okay. Bond. It's shite. Well, the next one, apparently, is going to be yeah. Damien Lewis. The driver. He's like odds on fit. <laughs> it's like odds on favourite. No, he's Homeland. Is he finished Damien Homeland? Is he, did he die in it? I don't even know who Damien Lewis is. Who? Homeland. I start watching. Did you watch Homeland? It just got daft. No, because I don't know who Jamie, Damien Lewis is. The ginger I? from Homeland. I don't watch <laughs> He's Homeland. Be, the ginger. You didn't watch Panda Brothers either, did you? No. He's great, did you ever watch Dreamcatcher by Stephen King? Um, oh. No, because it was fucking it dreadful. It was horrifically bad. <laughs> oh he was in Lord. that as well. Um, they're reckoning he's odds on favourite to be the next Bond. Yeah, I'm not having that. I'm not having that. I thought it was Idris. I thought Idris would make a wicked Bond. Idris would be But then bond. I thought he'd make a brilliant Doctor Who. He's black, though. And they sacked that off. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? I don't think it matters, really. Bro. A, a, a black Bond would be uh, a black um, Doctor Who would be sweet. You don't even like Doctor Who. I don't mind Doctor Who. I just is the it, odd episode. It's you that don't like Doctor Who. Oh, it's yeah, him. It's British. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> if Idris Elba were Doctor Who, would you watch it? Probably. Um, a lad at work's like except me... for the fact you won't even watch Luther. No, I will. I'm still waiting for Abs again. Oh, Luther. When's that going to start again, man? They teased know. us with that dirty it little trailer. Say. I'm it just going to. I'm just going to watch Luther. Um, They've um, all you that. Americans should go and watch Luther. Oh yeah, <laughs> Luther, brilliant. boys and girls. Um, a guy at work lent me X Tent, which was uh, Halle Berry. X Tent, and it's yeah, it's called X Tent, and it was um, on Amazon Prime. It oh. was an, it was an Amazon Prime only thing. 
Oh, featuring really? Featuring Halle Berry. Oh, I've seen it. I've seen she, the first season. She comes back from space and she's yeah. preggers. Yeah. I've but seen she's, the first season. She's been up there for 13 it's, months. It's Spielberg, isn't it? Um, Spielberg. Apparently. No, it's, I think it's, I think it's, it's right. just by Amblin. I think that's yeah. all it is. It's all right. Um, and I've watched the first two episodes. It's all right. First season's all right. You watched any more of that thing you said were really boring? What's that? That thing on Netflix. I can't remember what it was called. The Sensei. Yeah. No. <laughs> you're giving up on that yeah, well, yeah. if you um, look at the American Netflix it's got like 5 out of 5 has it yeah Human started though didn't it oh that was ace was it good, I think I'm sacking Sensei off oh it was ace for Tim it looks, I said it looked good up your back alley. yeah, yeah. It was, it did was you watch wicked. it no no I watched it yeah it was cool it's and British it's, it's proper British no but it looks pretty good but I think AMC have bought into it had the AMC logo at the end did you see that no. Yeah, it did. Uh, no. Yeah, so I, w- I wonder if they're going to show it in the States. Good. You'd like it. Mm, yeah, Very it sci-fi. Yeah, Christian yeah. Guru Murphy was in it, the oh, Channel really? 4 news presenter. Well, he oh. was presenting the news on yeah. Channel 4. Oh, that's a shame. I'm only I'm for, yeah. So are they robots then? Yeah. Yes. Synths. Yeah, looks, synths. AI. Looks pretty cool. Synths. It was good. It was I enjoyed wicked. It. It was Channel 4. Really so. creepy, yeah. Yeah, because it's amazing how people can play. It was really just clever. Just deadpan. Really clever. Because yeah. she, she's just... She's just so emotionless, yeah. and it's frightening. It's but she can kind of turn it on and off. She kind of yeah. turns it on and off. It's wicked. Yeah, yeah. First episode was cool. Good acting. Yeah, it was good acting. Yeah, Mark. What have we got a quiz this week? Quiz, 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 what? quiz, quiz, yeah, quiz, no, quiz, quiz, quiz. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> We'll have to get one on the chat live. <laughs> creepy green eyes. Yeah, they did have creepy oh, green eyes, Mad Mac. And Luther does rock. Are you British, Mac? Yeah. Mad sorry, Mac. Sorry, Mac. <laughs> Make yourself known, Mad Mac. Where are you from? I'm betting Bristol. I'm betting... Are you... Uh, l- l- uh, uh, Clag Dudno in Wales. Clan Dudno. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, right. He is British. No, oh. he's British. No, I'm I'm going Cornwall. Cornwall. He's definitely Cornish. <laughs> Why <laughs> is he Cornish? Are you called Mad Mac because of Mac from Predator? Through those trees. He's not going to tell us where he's from. He's going to hear me, hear me some fun. He's going to hear me some fun. <laughs> Do it, Mac. Uh, he's from Bristol. Oh, oh did you... I was close. I was did, you did you say Bristol? <laughs> did you? Nah, you already knew. You know, man, Mac. Cheeky bitch. You... Good guess. Jesus crap, Mark. You are like yes, some Doug kind L. of... We uh, could tell from your clan, accent. Clan, no, weird. Mac. Weird. That's weird. Yeah, have you got a quiz? Come on. <laughs> quiz, quiz, everybody, quiz. Will you quiz, shut up? Quiz, 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 everyone, come on. Let's do it. No one's as interested in you as you Let's Rob. do it. Come on. I am interested in quiz. We know you are. Quiz. Quiz. Shut up. <laughs> Tim, stop antagonising him. Tim's actually not that interested in the quiz. <laughs> he loves the quiz more than me. Yeah, come on, Vixen. Quiz. Quiz. <laughs> quiz. Quiz. <laughs> is, is there Riggs and Murtagh questions in this week? This is Satan. Quiz. <laughs> Quiz, quiz, Riggs, uh, Riggs. Come on, said him. Riggs, Riggs, Riggs. I love the quiz. <laughs> Mark's lost everyone. M- Mark's just pissing himself. <laughs> He's weed it. Quiz, 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 quiz. <laughs> I'm sick of this, said him. Can, can we have an intro? <laughs> can we? I wish you'd just record it so I don't have to do it every come fucking on. week. Quiz, quiz, quiz. Quiz. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Through those quiz trees. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, go ahead and strap yourselves in. It's Timothy Rob! Tim versus Rob. Woo! Quiz time, quiz time, quiz time, quiz time, quiz time. You're such a knobhead, Rob. I see a bad quiz rising. rising. Put a spell on you. Right, um. (laughs) So the running total is uh. Is it 20 nil? Adding. Got to be Add, close, that. Did you say this is show number what? Forty. Forty. I'm sure it is. Um, well, it's twenty-one eleven. Wow. So means we've done thirty-two quizzes. Wow. Thirty-two so quizzes. We missed the first eight. Oh, wow. Didn't we? Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we didn't did. have a quiz. Oh, oh that sucks. Was my idea. Wasn't oh, it? Can't. <laughs> was it? Yeah, like everything else. Shut up. To do the podcast. Goddamn motherfucker. Premier League predictions. The quiz. Everything. That time you blew Tim. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was Tim's <laughs> idea. No. Go on then. Go on then. Quiz. Never again. Uh, right, Tim. Swallow. Rob, you won, Rob, last week. Oh, Leah's quiz. Oh, even though it was nil-nil. On a tiebreaker, yeah. It's a tough quiz. Th- this won't be nil-nil. No. <clears throat> Would you like to go first or second, Rob? Do you know what? I think I sent Tim first last week, so I'm going to go first this week. Right then. Yo. It's just a general movie quiz. Boom. Because I could not be asked. That's okay. Robert... 
Question one. Joining everybody at home. Joining everybody. Fucking bastards. Question one. What are the first names of the film producing Weinstein brothers? Mm, This. mm, Right, okay. Mm, mm, And you don't get a point for each. One point or no points. Okay, well, there is Harvey Weinstein. Is there? Yes. And. Yes. Um, Well done, Mad Mac. That's the one that everyone's going to get. Harvey. Um, and there is, um, oh man, I don't know the other one. Bernard. It's a good guess. Bernard and Harvey. Bernard? Yeah. No. Oh, Bernie? Incorrect. Bernie. Listen, yeah, yeah, it's Bert. Fucking what is it? Bert? Bert. Bert and Ernie Weinstein? Brian. Here we go. No, it's not. It's Graham. Harry? <laughs> <laughs> is it Ian? Ian and Graham Weinstein. I don't think that they're English. Don't you? No. Um, Hi- Hans and... <laughs> Tans and Gruber. Caitlin. <laughs> um, yeah, Caitlin, yeah. Maggie. Um, Caitlin. I'm not sure, Mark. Yes, Mad Mac. Go on. The answer is Robert. Right, really? Bob. Shit. Bob and Harvey. Bob and Harvey. Right, really? There you go. Timothy. Uh, yes, question Master. one. Shut up, Rob. A tough question. It was. Timothy, question yes. one. Which 1993 film <laughs> became the first black and white film to win... Best Picture Oscar since 1960. Yep, I got it. I think. 1993. Yes. <sighs> and we're live. Yeah. <laughs> Just leave him alone. I'm not. I'm not turning. TikTok. You do. You always do this. You put him off just so you'll win with your air harp. <laughs> harp gate. <laughs> well done, Mark. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Are people playing along? Yeah. I'm not allowed to look. Oh, Scott P just hearted us. Oh, yes. Good lad, Scott. Love you, Scotty. Love no, you, Scott. No, that's not 1993. Ooh, 1993. Mad right. Max, right. You right back, Scott. Can't think of any black Mad Max got them all so far. Can I have the question again, please? No. He's, he's... Which 1993 film became the first black and white film to win Best Picture Oscar? Since 1960. I have no idea, Quizmaster. You've got this. Have a guess. I can't think of any black and white films apart from The Wizard of Oz. It's a bit out. It's not black and white. That's not in black and white. It starts off in black and white. Sepia, darling. Sepia. Brown. (laughs) Yeah. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, Doug. I think The Goonies was out before 1993. No idea. Yes, Robert. Schindler's List. Schindler's List. Ah, Was that 93? Yeah. Yes, apparently. Liam Neeson. (laughs) I will find you. You're wearing that red coat. <laughs> so it wasn't all black and white. Yeah. So that's, uh, Robert, that's really question bit. two. Yes. Which actor holds the record for the most mm. acting nominations at the Oscars? Oh, shit. How many nomos does it say? No. No. Um, ooh, nominations. Now the nominations. Um, I could. I reckon I could give it a, a pretty good guess. Yeah, it's an educated guess, that. It's an educated guess. I'm trying to whittle it down a little bit. Hang on. Would you like the question again? Just for time's sake, yeah. <laughs> Just to break Just to the fill the air. Yeah. Which the actor silence. holds the record for the most acting nominations at the Oscars? This could be a trick question. It... Um. Right. Okay. No, Doug. No, it's not. I think. I think I'm going to be wrong here. <clears throat> right. Okay. I'm going to go with. <laughs> I'm going to go with Al Pacino. No. Good well guy. done, Nerdy Vixen. Meryl Streep. It was either... Was it Keanu Reeves? <laughs> Jack Nicholson. Was it Jack Nicholson? Nerdy Vixen says it's Cher. Was it who? Was it Jack Nicholson? Was. Was it? Oh! That was honestly... That was going to be my second guess. Yeah, that's why I was going looking... Really Jacques. Well. Jacques Nicholson. Jacques. He's got loads of I think he won, didn't he, for As Good As It Gets? Possibly. Yeah. Which isn't one of his best films. No, it's funny. Though. Timothy, question it's, two. It's yes. Question Which two. is the only monster... With a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Frankenstein? That's shit. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> no. <laughs> that shit. Shit. <laughs> Was it Cher? <laughs> um, in that film, face. <laughs> Mask. Face. <laughs> oh, righty then. <laughs> no, that was... Uh, okay. Um, 
What did you say? Frankenstein. Yeah. Can I say Godzilla? Yes, you could. Thank you. And that would be right. Oh, wicked. Really? Yes. Interesting. Yeah. I thought an American monster would be in no. like Hollywood Walk. Anyway. Shut up. That's Next Ameri- question. Robert. <laughs> yes. Please identify the sport that features in the film Cinderella Man. <gasps> Boxing. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen that? We got yeah. one. It's quite good, is that film? I think I so. I, I never have. I'm I want to know. Sure, that. that's black and white. Tim, was it '93? Mm-hmm. Tim, yes, Quizmaster. Please identify the sport that features in the film Invictus. Oh, oh. Rugby. Which one? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Union. Yes. No. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> rugby. Rugby. It's, it's you know. South Africa, that, isn't it? South R- Africa. Rug- South Africa. Rugby. It's what I used to play. Buddy. Rugby. Rigs. I play in the valleys. It's nice titsy. <laughs> uh, Robert. Hello. What colour were the slippers <laughs> in the original Wizard of Oz? Ooh. In the book. Oh, yeah, you've been dirty. In the book or the film? They were They were <laughs> ruby were they? slippers. No, they weren't, were oh, they? Weren't they? <laughs> What? No. What? No. What? No. Ruby red? No. <laughs> no, they weren't. Were the emerald slippers? No, they were silver. Were they silver? Yeah, man. I presume they were. In the book, they were after. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh, hang on a minute. Are you talking about before effects were added? Wrong. Got it wrong. Were you talking about before effects? Tim, that's, four. That's a sneaky question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, quiz well thought. I don't understand. In 2014. Oh, God, so long ago. Which film <laughs> became the highest grossing <laughs> animation in movie history? Right up my shit. Monster, the monsters in can't they? It's right up my street is a shit. Mm. Do you yeah. know the answer? Yeah, I think so. Oh, Frozen. Yeah. Good lad. <laughs> it's hard not to burst into song when you say yeah. that. Yeah. Had to be that. Yeah. Just just do it, Rob. I can't. I'm not gonna. Go on. No, it'd be too it'd be too obvious. Mm. The snow glows white on the mountain tonight. <laughs> not a footprint to see. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> uh Rob, five. Yep. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> in 1933, which film oh. was the first film to have a sequel? Jesus Christ. Holy mother of God. <laughs> right, hang on. And if you don't get this, you've lost. In 1933, which film Before the war. was the first film to have a sequel? Ooh. That's hard. That's hard, isn't it, dude? Um... So 1933 was the release of the sequel. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Is yeah. that what you're trying Does to tell matter? me? Does it matter? Yes. 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 Does it, I don't see how it really, really matters. Well, it mattered what colour the fucking slippers were. Well, everyone else <laughs> is going like purple, black and white. Well, someone said black and white. That was just the film. It was sepia. Purple um, rain. Thanks, Doug. Has Doug got it right? No. Oh, man. This Typical is put, Doug. Is anybody put, getting it put right? a hot ass. <laughs> No. That was the that's, that's, that's the pod, It's pod just um, uh, an animated it was frozen. version of Avatar. Um, trying to think now. Let's have a look in the old banks. Try to think of an old film that might have had a sequel to it. <sighs> Casablanca. It's a good guess. What? Casablanca? That might be oh, in the hang 50s. On a minute. No. Was that? No. No, sorry. No. Did I mean Gone with the Wind? I can't no. remember. That was 50s. It doesn't make a difference. No, it doesn't. No. 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 Uh, the answer. Uh, seven cheap. Uh, seven. Uh, no. Kung Fu. Thirty nine uh, steps. Six seven pain. swordsman sides with <laughs> King Se- Kong. Oh uh, right. Of course. Son yeah. of Kong. Apparently. Son of Kong. Son of Kong. Were it tw- <laughs> the twenties? The first one. Kong son. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> Wicked. Son of Kong. Tim. Yes. Five. Look at look, for Rob, the win. Look at, oh no, he's got. He's won it already. Rob's really pissed off. No, I'm not he at is. all. I like really quizzes. Annoyed. He's lost. He's really. You can see it. <laughs> look at him. Uh, Tim Five Brad Pitt was nominated oh, for an Oscar care. For which 1995 yeah. Sci-fi film 12 Monkeys darling Yeah And with that Credited with as well With the score of 3-1 mm. It's a hammering Battered me It's a hammering Both fists <laughs> Tim That's Wingwood. a double fisting It's 21-12 <laughs> Boom Bringing it back Well done my friend Good quiz. Tim, good quiz. Tim, Tim yeah. I was annoyed. Good quiz. I'm not. He'll, he'll bring it next week. Bad, Brad Pitt deserved 12 Monkeys Oscar as well. I don't think I've ever seen it all the way through. It, it was good. It's, it is slow, but it's Bruce Willis is a bit shit. Yeah. Bruce Willis is always a bit Let's shit. Let's be honest. But Didn't they do a TV series? Brad Pitt was wicked. Yeah, I think so. I think it was on <clears throat> sci-fi or something, so no one bothered watching it. Cool World. 
go Tim it's been a while it has Mac you're absolutely right thank you Through thank you for your support and the trees. messages that's Mac um, those trees I'm gonna hear those trees I'm gonna some fun turn around um, I have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> good so uh, what's the theme next week Mark have you got any plans you got any plans for next week? If I did, I wouldn't be telling you, would oh, I? Oh, you're such a... Oh. Such, such a... <laughs> versus Rock. Yeah. Tim Wiggs! Oh. Awooga! 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 We need to get that. We Do need it. to get the sound club. We can use it. Yeah. Just you need that. a Wilhelm scream as well, I think. A what? A Wilhelm scream. Wil- Wilhelm. Is that the stock scream? So have we all watched our films this week? Yes. We have. Tim's actually caught up. You had homework to do this week. Didn't yeah. You, Tim? I had, yeah. Uh... Tim should be made to go first because he's got two. Yeah, let's do oh, it. Oh, of course. He's got to do the bear first, hasn't he? So, not last week, but the week before, we had to do found footage movies. Found footage, darling, yes. Uh, movies to make you do so goose twitch. I had The Bay, 2012. So, it's, it's kind of a weird one, this, because it's found footage, but it's not just of one sort of... It's kind of of... The town, so there's like CCTV cameras. Okay. There's mobile phones. There's news reports, and it's all sort of pieced together in an in, like an interview. When was it? 2012. Yeah, it's right. quite a cool. It's quite cool. It's quite a, quite an interesting kind of. I was thinking of watching this actually this week. Yeah, it's it's quite worth it. Um, if you like found footage, it's it's quite cool. So it's sort of told from this perspective of a like local news reporter who was there on the day that all this footage was found from. So she kind of has kept all this stuff and released it when it was allowed to be released because the, the police came in and swooped it out. But So it's basically, uh, so she sets the story up saying this was all taken in 2009 and all this. So it's set in this small town um, and it's like these, uh, like a typical small town. People start getting ill in the town. All right, okay. So they're like... Um, so it's not like a horror flick. There's no guy running around with a knife. No, it's kind of cut, it's chopped between, the editing's quite good because it's kind of chopped around. It's quite good, it's quite good, yeah. yeah. Um, so, so the local news picks up on these people getting sick and they start thinking it's something to do with the water supply. Um, I think people start sort of dying right. whilst this is going on. So they're like, whoa, no one really knows what's going on. So it kind of starts, in the, so all this panic starts happening. Right. And they start pulling fish up at the scene, they're all dead and stuff. Um, so eventually the town gets shut down and all this footage gets confiscated. Right. Um, of what? Of what happened. So that's what you see. But ah, you, right. you haven't actually really figure out what actually happens. Okay. But you get, there's all like these scientists like in boats and stuff and they're all saying, oh, there's something wrong. It's, it's a bit weird because it never actually ends, but it's quite good. In Sounds the same really way. weird, doesn't it? Yeah. It doesn't sound that it, good to me. No, I mean, it got bad. <clears throat> when you look at into it, it got pretty bad reviews because it doesn't actually, but it's quite, it's done quite well. But, it doesn't really ever get to a point. Nothing ever happened. No, it's kind right. of... Uh, <laughs> right, okay. So it, it was worth a watch, but I wouldn't recommend it. Okay. I, I, there's better there's better found footage films. Right, but okay. It was quite good in the way that they didn't just tell it through like one camcorder they found. Yeah, it was yeah. done like... At least it was a found footage film, not like mine. Yeah, New Age, wasn't it yours? New Fucking Age. Chronicle. Yes. Yeah. Right. So, so I give it six out of 13. Did you watch Willow? Nice. Oh, yeah, good. No, nice. I haven't watched it. No. You didn't watch it. Time. Okay. So yeah. on to last week's yeah. selections were by uh, Annalise from the... Uh, Dark Angels Pretty Freaks. That's right. Yes. And she chose baseball movies because <laughs> we're English and we're yeah. really up on our bases ball. Bases ball. Yeah, that's what I put in my last sentence of that review. Bases ball. Very baseball oriented. So probably a bit lost on an Englishman. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so go on then, Tim. So you The Natural had... was brilliant. Really good. It was like an 80s feel-good film. So it's like this guy called... It's set in the 30s. Yep. So uh, I'm assuming that was a time in America when baseball wasn't massively huge, but it was getting huge. Americans tell us it was. Mixler. It was huge. It was huge. All right, okay. Well, there were a lot of people Rob, in the crowds. I can't see Mixler on my phone's dead. So oh, sorry. Uh, You'll uh, have to keep up with the chat. Okay. Yeah, so it's about this guy called Roy Hobbs, and he's Roy. like this young baseball whiz. He's going to be like the next massive... Pele. Yeah, like the Pele. <laughs> yeah. Is it Joe DiMaggio? Yes, is that Joe that's DiMaggio? It. Joe DiMaggio. That's it. Joe DiMaggio. Is, that, is that a baseball it. player? Wasn't he a boxer? Anyway. I think he's a boxer. I think he's a boxer. Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. That's better. <laughs> yeah. Right. Think so another one. He's going to be the next, like, Babe Ruth, or the first Babe Ruth, I know when he came out. <laughs> so he's going to try out for the Chicago Our Cubs. Extensive <laughs> knowledge of <laughs> baseball. I bet all the Americans are going ape shit, aren't they? God you damn fucking England. heathens! <laughs> Uh, so he's on his way to get. Uh, he's on the way for a tryout with the Chicago Cubs, and he gets shot by this woman. Wow! And you never find out why. Oh, I must have missed it if you did, because it was. I just didn't know why. So, 16- did he join the fire for, for, for firefighters instead? 
no, it right. just sort of cuts to 16 years later. <laughs> uh, and he's giving play- birth to Chicago Fire. Chicago Fire. Yo. So Scout sees him playing. Is that shit still on? He's like in his, I think he, yeah, so he must be 32. End of season. <laughs> when? Is it end of season? No, he's what happened? done it already. Was what happened? Was awesome. there a fire? Oh man, I was at the edge of my seat. What happened? I can't remember. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Chicago, Chicago. I'm, I'm trying to, sorry, I'm in the ba- baseball yeah. zone here. Baseball. So this is a scout. For the New York Knights, yeah. season play at 32. The New York Knights? Like yeah. that name. Is it Kane? Yeah. And signs him for the for pro a baseball team. They're a pro baseball team. I thought I don't they were the it's... Mets and the Yankees. Well, been. this is a 30, so they might not exist anymore. Yankees. Yankees. New York Maybe Yankees they weren't allowed it. to call them that. Yeah. Rights issue. Uh-huh. Maybe. Pretty the, the Supposedly the guy who wrote this had amazing baseball knowledge. Americans, so it's all based Americans on real. tell us, was there a team called the American... No, the yeah. New York... New York Knights. New York Knights. New York Knights. So he, he, he gets signed up and the coach is like, I'm not it Sounds like an up. Eddie Murphy film from the 80s. Well, it's an 80s film because it's got all the, sort of the 80s cuts New and York the music. New York Knights. And, um, so... Well, they had 80s music in a film that was set in the 1930s. Yeah. It was all what? music montages. And yeah, stuff. it was. There was loads of that. It's just like a good 80s. You're the best. Yeah. Don Johnson so, was the coach. Yeah, so he has this hard time fitting in because he's this old guy going into a young team. Yeah. The, the team's at the bottom of the league, though. So he comes in and eventually he starts playing brilliantly. Suppose he's got this bat made from a tree that got hit by lightning. Um, it's not called a bat, is it? What's it called? A stick. A stick. <laughs> Baseball um, bat. A baseball bat. Oh, baseball bat. Baseball bat. Baseball bat. Baseball stick. <laughs> the American baseball. Dude, yeah. You got ape shit. So, Lawn's, yeah. Lawn's never heard he, of the night. He eventually gets so good, he becomes like the best player in the league. And, so, anyone's got any complaints and win the about league. this? So, it's like this whole section. To re- you know, this ma- so, it's kind of like a magical sports fantasy film. Uh, and it's just got that eight feel good magic. But I just didn't understand a lot of the baseball stuff. It was set yeah. in the 30s. How can it have 80s feel good yeah. magic? <laughs> well, it, yeah. Feel it good. was weird, but it was good. I give it. Tim, well, I put six out of thirteen. It was turned into some kind of. Six I, really, out of 13. I just really enjoyed it, but it wasn't Don't totally brilliant. But it was good. There was no Team Wolf. No, it was no Team Wolf. <laughs> All that eighties magic. Win in <laughs> the end. Win in the end. Shoot it, fat boy. <laughs> give me a keg. <laughs> I love Team Wolf. <laughs> Never seen Wicked. it. You never seen. I don't Team like Wolf. Michael J. Fox. No, no. say die. Stands. Right, do it. I, I forgot what it was Give called. Give me a verdict. Yours was called. I think it was Million Dollar we Arm. We swapped yes, as well. Yes, it was. Yeah, it it was. Co- yeah, because you told me some people were in it and you lied. You lied to DiMaggio me. DiMaggio played baseball, apparently. Uh-huh. Did he? Yeah. Who was the boxer? Oh, Marcelo, uh, I know I'm thinking of. Yankees <laughs> and Mets have been around forever. He's never heard oh, of right. Knights. They've made it up. There yeah. was a right, yeah. they, they, they yeah, they the Knights, every player's made to change their name to Michael. Right. So they're all Michael, Michael Knights. Knight. Yeah. Oh, no. Wrong guy. Ding, 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 Go on then. Yeah, yeah I had to watch Million Dollar Arm. Right, okay. I have no idea. Is that a porn film? Anyone who was in it. Yeah, it was just someone wanking off. <laughs> For an hour. For 90 just... minutes. Oh, but no, really... no, it was a competition. I'm nearly there. <laughs> no, no, not yet. Whoever could <laughs> shoot it the furthest won a million dollars. It was great. They had to do it upper wall, and then they had to do it furthest. <laughs> upper wall. There was height, there was length. And they had to get it through Vertical a Vertical challenge. Yeah, they, they had to challenge. get it through hoops. So we could get through Flaming hoops. <laughs> yeah. And they had to like shoot fire and yeah, stuff. Yeah, flaming hoops. Cool. Can we get back on? <laughs> oh yeah, so it was, this, uh, it was um, like a sports agent. Yeah, it wasn't doing very well. It's a Disney film, right? Okay, so it was it was full of that feel good magic. magic. Was it done in the eighties? No, it was it was quite recent. I think. When was it? True story. Yeah. So and uh, he was watching uh, cricket. Cricket. Uh, yeah. Cricket. One day cricket. Yeah. And he saw that maybe he could find an Indian person. To play baseball. To play baseball because they can throw the ball really fast. Sweet. Away. So he set it up and went to India and did basically like the X Factor. So went around all these different <laughs> cities <laughs> and set up like a throwing net. Yeah. Bases ball. And right. people went and threw. And he selected two of them, whoever won this competition, yep. to come to America and have trials. Jesus Christ. It's a true story. They were signed by really? um, yeah, some club somewhere. Are they still there now? Or does uh, it not say? I don't know. Is um, he retired? No, it just says at the end that they sort of they signed on. And there was pictures of them. And yeah. yeah, yeah. Out of yeah. 13? Um, three. Oh, Jesus. It was really, really boring. They're dead now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They were, dr- now. they were driven out of the country with the um, incessant racism they've got there. So. Jesus. <laughs> like all the Indians. <laughs> <laughs> but they were spot Indians, not feather Indians. Yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> My Beep. God. Oh, Beat machine's not working. And we're live. <laughs> um, I had eight men out. 
which was um, to be fair, it? it wasn't actually bad. It was literally. Oh yeah! All speaking Star of beeps, cast. go on. So the first C bomb that was dropped last week, yeah, he beeped, yeah, and then he just didn't oh. bother beeping the other three that were on later on. <laughs> that was, I think there were two by me and one by you. I think he'd given up. I'm sorry. Way. There's I, a lot of C bombs. I, yeah, I, <laughs> I must have been enjoying Leah, it that Leah being far too much, and I obviously just um, missed <laughs> yeah. it. Um, so yeah, to it all, I had why. eight men out. You'd have loved it, John Cusack. Oh, big, yeah. big player in the uh, older Eight Men Out. Charlie Sheen was in it. Really? Um, when was this 80s it was again? The guy who played Merle from was, Walking Dead. It was full of that 80s. I think, it, magic. I think, it, was, I think it was 90s. I think it was 90s. I think it was 90s. Just missed yeah. out on the 80s feel good magic. Um, who else Rob, was in it? There was a few. Podcast title. What? It's full of that 80s feel good magic. <laughs> feel good magic. Um, so, um, yeah, good lad. Good lad. Oh, I like it. Ocean. So, um, it was set in 1919 and it was the uh, Sox. Did you have any 80s music the in socks. it? Yeah, the socks. Um, yeah, the it was soundtrack full was of, done by Status Quo. It was full of 1919 music. Here we are, here yeah. we are. On the, what like was that, Charles, like Vivaldi? It was like... Um, that's Charles. Just that. dupe. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I know dun, what's dun, dupe dun, 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 dun. You don't need to um, sing it at me, please. They, they were all wearing, like, bowler hats and stuff. Were they? You know why, those, did, why did other people wear hats? They just all did. Just a gen- why? They all were scared of catching lice and stuff. Is that true? Off of hair. I've no idea. And then, So it was about... This baseball team that was like the greatest baseball. ever. Yeah. yeah. That were like the greatest ever. Was it New York? And everybody was saying, you're never going to beat this team. But they were paid like shite. And every time they wanted a bonus, the guy who owned them would, would wean out of it about paying them. So this one guy went up and he said, listen, if you throw the series, the World Series, um, if you throw the World Series. Well, the first one. The World we'll, Series of Bases Ball. We'll give you a shitload of money. So they get literally eight men out of the team to throw the games ah, right. but some of them are like I'm not going to do it John Cusack he's, he's the man is he, is he good and he, 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 good, he just it? says he says oh, I'm not going to do it I'm not is having anything to do with it Merle bad guy Yeah. Merle out of Walking Dead bad guy typical just never changes his spots poor fella um, so, you your um, charger you what did they give you your charger back no have I still got it see how interested we are in can your I, film can I use that actually <laughs> Yeah. I might, I might need that um, so yeah. um you can't. Oh, please. One's dead. Oh, please. Oh, yeah. You do. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, anyway, they're throwing games and stuff, and it's like, you know, music montage. Okay. Win in the end. And then Love they it. get kind of caught, and they got caught. And I don't know if it was a true story or not. You guys might be able to tell me on uh, on Mixler. But, um, yeah, and they got off with it in the end. Spoiler alert. Did you enjoy it? Um, no, not really. <laughs> Why? Because it was just baseball. Just a bit shit. Was it? It was a good cast. Yeah, um, yeah, it was a good Out cast. Thirteen. Um, I give it a five. Oh, you're too nice. What would you it give was, it a five? About? It was okay. Um, I didn't like the. Going. It was all, it was all very soft focus, Mark. If you leave <laughs> me now, um, take away the. It was about a sport that I don't know of anything of. I don't know anything about baseball, so I didn't really. <laughs> Sorry, baby, please don't don't start that. It's like <laughs> don't start it and not finish. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Well, thank you. So, yeah, it was okay. It were all right. John Cusack was mint in it, though, Mark. You'd it's have loved him. that shit. It's coming off him. What is? That, <laughs> that, <laughs> that phone noise. It's coming off him. It's, it's coming from... You can hear it. It's Alcatel, isn't it? Isn't it? It's the they Alcatel. Play, yeah. Yeah. Don't they play, like, 300 games a season in the baseball season? Or something ridiculous like that? Do Lorne they? will tell us. They, they play during the day. I is know it that. true that, like, nobody gives a shit about baseball until, like, the middle of August? Because in films, they all go during Just school. They play that they? many they games. They all bunk off school and go see yeah, it. Yeah, I think it's like an really? all day. They play for, like, it goes a on month. for a long time. Yeah, it does. Um, Each game. Vixen says, I have my towel, no need to panic. Thanks. Um, well, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, Doug's just oh. said, just a reminder, tomorrow is International Panic Day. Oh, that's why she says I've got my towel. Have you never seen Hitchhikers, Rob? No. Fucking hell. It's good. Oh, it's amazing. Are you sure? The answer to life is... 42. 42. Oh. Yeah. You have seen it. Oh, it's amazing. No, I haven't. The book, hilarious. Yeah, I've really started good. reading the book a couple of times. I've just never got a chance oh, to read it. it's hilarious. It's hilarious. good old boy. The radio play, brilliant. The it? original TV series, yeah. yeah. The film didn't do it justice, really. No. No. It was all right. Yeah, one bad, yeah. Some good bits. Yeah. Yeah. So we need some films for this week. Yeah, we do. We've Have you got, got some? Any? No, you've got some. Have we? They were on the Mixler chat last oh, week, if you go back. Were they? El Heno sent us some 80s sex comedies. Don't well, it's a good old boy. <laughs> talk, <laughs> talk amongst yourselves, boy. So, Tim, how's your game coming along? Good old boy. Uh, it's, going, it's going well, actually. Is it, is it on E3? Um, no, they didn't do uh, what they said so they were going to do. So you cancelled the podcast the other week for nothing. 
No, they still did the thing, but it was in the after. It's going to be the after party thing, which is tonight supposedly. So it's is um, it on live. Can we watch it? No, the after oh. party isn't. I wa- I did watch it to see how they presented, but they only presented uh, the idea Xbox stuff, which was actually just about to come out. So sort of so I think next time they'll probably promote it better. But so what um, what games have they announced then that's made you a little bit? Uh, uh, well, Fallout Four looks Fallout pretty 4. tasty. I'm not so fussed about Gears of War. For. Although it does look quite cool, it's new engine and stuff, so it might look pretty tasty. Um, I'm saying Fallout Four looks shite. The well, graphics look dreadful. Yeah, well, they were saying because it's they've, they've wanted to make it so big, they, they've had to sort of compromise on the graphics. But I mean, they never they never look ace anywhere. No, no, but I mean, you don't really play it for the graphics, do you? I mean, but um, the Last Guardian looks great on PS4. That looks absolutely brilliant. I haven't seen it. Recall from looks alright. To be honest, I'm not really kept up on it. Yeah, there's look, there's some great indie games as well coming out. I mean, some really nice stuff. So you need to get in on that shit. Well, we are we're in on it. So it's just the stuff they showed. They only showed four indie games, but they're all pretty much finished. Right. So we we're, we're like a 12 months behind. So next E3 will probably be well, we will be finished, but we might have some DLC. And, will you? Yeah, we'll be finished. Some with DLC. It. If it does all right, yeah. Want to hear Radio One um, present? Yeah. Is he in jail now for... Kiddie fiddling. Oh, no, DLT. <laughs> or BLT. Is he, is he out now? I like a BLT. What about Rolf writing songs about his... What? What's he up to? Yeah, right. Rolf, Rolf Harris was Rolf writing... Rolf Harris is in prison for sexually assaulting I know minors. And he's Not ri- minors. He's written a... <laughs> he, he's written Come a, here, you cold-covered <laughs> bastard. He prefers Chileans. <laughs> <laughs> Dig. Put that canary down. I've uh, look at this. Canary. Have you found him? No. Who was it by? Was El it, Heno. Was it Hello. Right. Is he on tonight? <laughs> El she? No. It was he a she? direct message on Twitter as well. It's a good old boy. Might be quicker looking at that. It's the five P's, Rob. The five P's. Proper preparation. Oh Prevents no. Piss poor performance. It does. He hardly said a word last week as well. Bless him. He just wanted to tell us about sex movies. He did. He did. We're just trolling through last week's chat. To find no, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go on Twitter. So what? Yeah, E3 was pretty good. Was it? Is it yeah. finished then? Yeah. Has it totally finished now? It's been so. in papers quite a lot, hasn't it? Yeah, well, so I mean, Sony supposedly. I, I watched a bit of Sony's press conference. It was pretty good. Was it? Yeah, they just they were saying that they beat sort of Microsoft, but I don't know if they beat them. They, they probably just, did. You see, the thing Microsoft did, what I thought they did, they announced backward compatibility, so you can play any Xbox 360 game on your Xbox One now if you bought it. So that's pretty cool. How have they done that? Well, they said they couldn't do it. Why but, couldn't they do it at launch? Well, they've they've had to. I don't know how they've done it because it's seamless. So they could do it. So they could do it. Yeah, it's fucking. They said it. Well, it's all. Done, it's all. Man. It's all. Keep things in your back Just pocket. This small, but that's five brilliant. megabyte download. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. It just, little, but, but supposedly, <laughs> yeah. it runs natively, not through an emulator. So they, whatever they've done, it, it upscales it as well. So, so they haven't done anything then. Well, they've, it's different code base, isn't it? So they've had to done something. It was Kurt Woods. Oh, was it? It was Kurt. So I've been looking for El <laughs> Not there. Um, right, he's got three films for us to watch. Uh, the Monster Squad, which I've never seen. Three Ninjas, oh, Jesus Christ, which I've, I've never that. seen. I've seen that. And The Rescue. And he's watched these when he was a young boy, and he loved them. I've so, seen The Three Ninjas, but I do not remember it. Who wants what? I'll have, I like the idea of The Monster Squad. What was the last what, one? You've seen one of them, haven't you? No. Are, no, you, are you sure? I think I want the Monster Squad as well. Yeah, yeah. I weren't wanting the Monster Squad. <laughs> Can we all just... Why do we all watch the Monster Squad this week no. and give like... No. no. Um, I don't want to watch three... I've I got a really feeling want. that's about kids. I don't want to watch any of them, if I'm honest. <laughs> yeah, Three Ninjas scares me a little bit. Oh, three Ninjas is terrible. Might be like BMX Bandits. It was terrible when it came out. <laughs> um, oh, God. Am I going to have to take I've had Three to Ninjas? Watch, I've had to watch Reanimator. Right. And so, Reanimator so, 2. Right, okay. I think I should be allowed to you watch... Just, yeah, you Monster ch- Squad. You choose. Do you want the rescue? I'll go with anything that's left. Do you want Monster Squad? Yeah. Right, you take Monster Squad. Mark's right. going to take Monster Squad. I'm bloody going to take three ninjas. <laughs> but if it's about kids, I'll be pissed. It is. It and is. I think you... it's three kids that are ninjas. It is. It's like spy kids. What... That's exactly what it is. <laughs> but it's shy. Son of a bitch. I'll tell you what it gets on IMDb. It's... IMBD. I am Internet Movie Badass Database. Um... Yeah, right, okay. So, Three Ninjas is god-awful, says Mad Mac. Yeah, it's, it's appalling. Don't make me feel any worse than I already do. It's a good old boy. Um, and have Tim's got been... the... Re- What's the rescue? No have idea. we ever been given a good film? No. Um, oh, there's been anyone. some old... Free Jack was pretty awesome. Fuck off. And um, what was the other one? Overdri- maximum, <laughs> maximum Overdrive was terrible. Oh, jeez. What I'm sure I liked one of them really a lot. I, I can't remember what it was now. I can't it remember gets liking any of mine. I've had to watch Crossroads for fuck's sake. 
Oh, God. <laughs> and burlesque. And burlesque. Each year, three brothers, Samuel, Jeffrey, and Michael Douglas, visit their grandfather, <laughs> Michael Maury Panyanka, for summer. <laughs> Maury is a highly skilled in ninjutsu, Gosh. and for years, he has trained the boys in his techniques. I bet Hello. After an organised <laughs> crime ring proves too much for FBI, <laughs> it's time for the three ninja brothers. <laughs> Using their martial artistry, they team up to battle the crime ring and outwit some very persistent kidnappers. Who's in it? 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 Michael Douglas. <laughs> I'll t- you'll know who's in it because they're uh, uh, b- 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 Victor Wong's in it. Oh yeah. Uh, Michael Trina, Max Elliott Slade, and. Who's the other kid? Max Elliott Slade. <laughs> Chad Power. Chad. He's Randy got that Power. Wow. Alan wow. McRae. Ben Kingsley. Ben Kingsley's in it. Rand Kingsley. <laughs> oh, Rand. This is Margarita Franco. This is Kate Sargent. Joel. Hello. Joel Sweettoe. <laughs> right, no one then. Yeah. What's, what's Monster Squad? Come on, bro. Monster Squad. Tim, Monster Squad. Give us the give us the. Do you know what I hope's in? What? Um, Three Ninjas. What? Beer Bark at Snookle does that, you know? <laughs> I'm just hoping there's going to be some... Uh, some beer bark at snorkel dust, you know? <laughs> I'm hoping. I hope. I'm hoping. Okay, The Monster Squad, 1987. Oh, 7.2 out of 10. Yes. Oh, yes. A young group of monsters fanatics attempt to save their hometown from Count Dracula and his army of monsters. Of course. <laughs> Tagline, the impressed. end of the world starts at midnight. Oh, yeah. I'm not impressed. Uh, hmm. Stephen Max, isn't it? Uh, you'll probably know him. Maybe. You know, have you seen Robocop 2? With Kane. No. Uh, oh, Tom Noonan, who, who plays Kane, he's in it. He's Frankenstein. What about yours? What about the rescue, yeah? Oh, Jesus, I forgot about mine. Hold that rescue tight. All, All night. night. The rescue. Have you seen the new advert with the E17 track in it? Yes. Is it the rescuers? <laughs> the animated one? No. It's the rescue, it says. That's how I like. The rescue. Cute. Everything's gonna be your... I heard it. All I was right. in another room and it's I was like, shit. who the hell's playing it's E17? Shit, All right. You think it's gonna be really funny and it's not. Yeah, I agree. It's garbage. Because it's like oh, a proper Muppet. Yeah. Black and fucking white. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Five out of ten. A team of Navy SEALs are sent to destroy a disabled submarine so it not fall into the wrong hands. They complete their mission but are captured before they can return to their base. The US government will not mount a rescue mission to feed the soldiers. Kurt, if you're listening, is that the right so film? So their adolescent children take over. <laughs> the what? When was children this out? When was this yeah. out? The kids find a way to venture into the foreign country. <laughs> and they must overcome many obstacles. Is it like The Hunt for Red October, but done with kids with instead? Kids. I think fucking you know, like, Karate Kids, isn't it? You know, like Muppet Babies? Muppet. What, Scott Meyer? This is a tagline. It's quite long. An elite US special forces team is in prison behind enemy lines. The Pentagon calls them expendable. Expendable? (laughs) Expendable. Five young heroes call them dad. Now they'll risk everything to bring them home. Is it like like a mini... um, Kevin Dillon's in it. Sean Connery. Uh, yeah, like yeah. A, a child got like version. a stuck on beard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks the Todd P. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that. Get a peach for yeah, all. you will. Of course you will. And if you can't, I'll get it. For I, you. I I got, you well, I found it. the natural in VHS quality. The so naturals. I had, a, I had a 1080p <laughs> fucking Blu ray rip of mine. It was really? dreadful. It's shocking, isn't it? What shit they pedal yeah, out. Really 279 was. Um, do you want some news? 240. No. Yeah, everybody, it's news time. You need a you need a theme tune for that. You're, you're absolutely bloody right. Do you want some uh, do you want some new bits? Maybe, maybe people haven't heard these yet. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Well, you can believe, Mr. Pecker. My name is Peck. Or you could accept the fact that this city is headed for a disaster of biblical proportion. Well, what do you mean, biblical? Oh. What he means is Old Testament, Mr. Yes. Mayor. Real wrath of God type stuff. Exactly. Fire and brimstone coming down from the skies. Rivers and seas boiling. Forty years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes. The dead rising from the grave. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Enough, I get the point. But what if you're wrong? If I'm wrong, nothing happens. We go to jail, peacefully, quietly. We'll enjoy it. But if I'm right, and we can stop this thing, Lenny, you will have saved the lives of the Three Cuckoos podcast. Right, you want some news? <laughs> Let's have some news. Lay it down, love. Lay it on me. I like the way you just try and... Lay just gloss over news on, on me. me. Just like it never happens. Lay your news on me. Like that makes me want to watch Ghostbusters. Lay your news on me. <laughs> Like that. Um, so a mother was humiliated by Marks and Spencer's staff who made her take off her 42E bra at the customer service desk in front of shoppers because the other one in a two-pack was faulty. Two-pack. Two-pack. Right. 
this is idiot of the year, is this. This is the idiot of the year award, right? Mrs. Edwards told how she was left feeling humiliated and embarrassed after she felt forced to take off her bra at the customer service desk. As other customers queued behind her and watched, licking their lips, in order to obtain a refund for the identical faulty product which came from the same twin pack. Get them out. So, listen, right? This is the situation. So you've got... Say you've got two pairs of pants, Mark, right? They come in a two-pack, yeah? One of them's faulty. Right. right? So you want to take them back. What do you do? You take them back, but you've got one pair on. Ah, I see the predicament. Yeah. Why would you do that? I agree. Why the... You would. Why would you do that? You wouldn't do that. Why would you? Would you? I've got to I'm going to put these ones on. Or you'd take an old pair. Um, So, the 42-year-old, who had a 42E bust said that if, after eventually obtaining a refund and walking away from the till, she heard the, the shop assistant joking about the incident. 42E? Yeah, 42E. She, she was in Dudley. Is that big? She was in Dudley. I think that's quite large. Yeah. Is that where Kurt's from? I think they pitched them at Glastonbury. Yeah. Um, yesterday, uh, Mrs. Edwards said, It wasn't a nice experience at all. m and tried on their strong customer service, but I was afforded no dignity at all. Dignity. Um, <laughs> Mrs. Edwards, who runs a bouncy castle firm. <laughs> <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> With with oh that <laughs> she's got forty two e's. You can right. see the slow mo and she has the a slow mo trailer she for has the a bouncy castle firm. Boy, um, um, yeah, boy, 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 boy. <laughs> with her husband Mike had bought the lingerie twing pack from the store a fortnight earlier, but the strap on one of the bras had snapped, oh. and she took it back with the original packaging. Did, was she bouncing but was on it? Was wearing the second titty holder that was not faulty. <laughs> titty holder, titty holders. So um, was she on the bouncy castle when it broke? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so. At the time, she was with her 22-month-old son, Jackson, spelt J-A-X. Jackson? J-A-X-O-N. That's some, there's some shit right there. Um, was we around. what kind of person. There was around know, seven we? shoppers were in the queue behind her at customer service, which is close to the collection point in a separate part of the store. Why do we need to know this? The former prison officer also added. What? The, ass- the assistant made it quite clear that I was the only way I could return the faulty browser to take the other one off. Mrs. Edwards, who runs a bouncy castle firm with her husband, Mike... Um, said Hello, Mike. Uh, when I told her I was wearing the other one she didn't say anything so I started to take it off under my top I thought she'd stop me but she didn't <laughs> I managed to remove it discreetly without anybody else seeing anything but I must have stood there like a braless idiot for about five minutes <laughs> um, so apparently they offered her an 18 quid refund wow take it take it take, but, it, um, take it and run but the shopper was so upset with what had happened she went to inform an assistant manager. Informer. It's, it's you that's the thick host we are. I'm sorry. The manager apologised, found a replacement bar from the storeroom, told her to change in the changing rooms. That was the uh, the Stupid Bitch Award 2015. Um, yeah. Are all them news stories? That's, that's real, is that shit? Are all them news stories? That's real. Yeah, yeah. Proper news story. Oh, yeah. Like... There's a zoo flooded in Georgia. Oh yeah, and someone's yeah. been eaten by a lion. Yeah. Oh, this is oh yeah, it's a yeah. proper story. Well, every, all the animals drowned. But it turns out the lion got out. Right. And um, the hippo survived. Ate a man. Yeah, the hippo didn't. Did it survive? I think so. I swimming think it, around. I think it was. Oh well, yeah, of course it was. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, man has sex with dog to get revenge on wife for giving it too much attention. Dong. Correct. Ding Jonathan. Dong. Jonathan Edward Medley of Geneva, Alabama, oh, there you go. has He's been American, charged with yeah. animal cruelty, according to police. Surprise. Yeah, who says that he felt his wife was spurning him in favour of Buster the Shih Tzu. Uh, Geneva police... He Buster Nut. This is, <laughs> this, is, this is the name for a captain, police captain. Ricky Morgan. Ricky Captain yeah. Ricky Morgan. His middle name's Power. Ricky Power, Power Morgan. Morgan. The Power, is called. Um, he Power. said that the 39-year-old was mad at his wife because she paid more attention to the dog than him. So, he had sex with the dog. Uh, according to the he New York Daily that News... that dog hard. <laughs> he drove it home. According to the New York Daily News, his wife actually thought he was having an affair with another woman and hid a recording device. <laughs> she learned, in fact, he was fucking his own dog. Um, <laughs> uh, although the two-year-old pup sustained injuries from the cruelty, vets say oh. he'll make a full recovery. Yeah. Oh, good. Um... A woman posts an ad for an open-minded person to use time machine built in her garage. <laughs> Mark, we've got a reply to this. Can I go back? We've got a reply to this. Uh, a woman is advertising for someone to share her first journey in her new invention, a time machine. What if it actually worked, though? The classified on Gumtree is appealing for a companion to join her in the first human transportation using her device. No images have been supplied, but the woman 
from Exminster in Devon wrote, For the past few months, I'd been working on a design for the time machine <laughs> in, my my in my garage. <laughs> so far, I've been able to make mice disappear and... I don't know if they're going backwards or forwards in time. I'm looking forward for it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, is it powered by apples? I'm looking for a time travel partner, male or oh, female, geez. who is open-minded with a good sense of humour, like that matters, to accompany me on my first human transportation. Owner drivers would be a plus, as the machine needs to be taken to a wide open space, like a beach, to prevent property damage. Is it a DeLorean? It's, um, it's a fridge. Sweet. Uh, happy to split fuel costs, smiley face. Looking forward to hearing from you soon. So, so she's sending mice back in time. That's not... Maybe that's what happened to the rats in London. Know? I think so. I, she, obviously, she's just like putting them in a microwave and going, when they go, ping, <laughs> they've gone. She's like, they've gone. <laughs> As if by magic. I think that's what's happening. I think she's microwaving mice. Um, needs how how, how she's going to get in there with a the passenger. No wow. idea. Um, so yeah, maybe she's flushing them down the toilet and just going. She needs to Where check are they her going? flux capacity. She does. Yeah, she needs cleaning out. I think. So that is why Mad Max said it's powered by cider and delusions. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is definitely. Yeah, yeah. It's a psychotic that, right. episode. Yeah. And Lawn says the guy from Alabama was definitely in the dog house oh. afterwards. Are you here all week, Lawn? Are you sure? He's here all week. He's here all week. Get your coat, Lawn, and fuck off. You've pulled. <laughs> that was dreadful. <laughs> Get your coat. Um, yeah, there was. A bus driver who called police when mum tried to pay for her fare in small change. Um, he's what? been He's been slammed for calling the cops. Slammed. When a mother attempted to pay her ticket with coppers. Laura, 35, was left stunned when the first bus driver wouldn't accept part payment of a 60p fare using 25p and 1 and 2p coins. That's not allowed, apparently, on a first fucking, bus. Your, uh, your news stories are suddenly going downhill again. <laughs> um, like they did in those desperate the bus, yeah. old days, Rob. She refused to leave the bus... Um, it was in Canvey in Essex. Um, the police were called to deal with the standoff. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was the most surreal experience of my life. I can't Who believe it fucking happened. reported on this? Break- CNN? Yeah. Breaking news. The <laughs> standoff on bus. <laughs> he watched Tonight's me count. breaking news. We're live Woman. on the scene. He watched me count the exact money out as he expected me and my daughter to get off the bus. I wouldn't step off. So he phoned the police. Step off! And they walked away. Step yeah. off! <laughs> That's it for this week's news. Christ on a bike, Rob. One man and his dog. That was one terrible. One man and his dog. <laughs> that one was all right. That was all right. The dog sex one. What about the right. woman with the bra and no, the bouncy that's castle? Boring. That's genius. You laughed. It? Yeah, bouncy that was funny. Castle. She was a bouncy castle. Company, but <laughs> it was. Funny. That's what it's got. A broke on the bouncy. It's a shit story. Do you think it broke on the bouncy castle? Her husband obviously was like a plumber or something, and then he thought, "My wife's boobs are that big. I need to have a bouncy castle business." When did you come up with these? Um, about five minutes before I set Yeah, off. yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't. It stinks I didn't. of rush. I've been trawling. Stinks of rush. It stinks of it. Stinks of rush. Stinks of rushed. That's rushed. <laughs> That's rushed for men. Yeah. So you've so what else have you been doing this week? Then you just went. Do you know what pissed me off at the cinema? Do it. Say it. Right on a Sunday, you go to the cinema, right, and they don't have the kiosk to buy your tickets. Where did you go? Open, right, Cineworld in Bradford. <laughs> yeah. So what they've done is they think obviously that no one's coming in on a Sunday. So, but we booked our tickets. So we walked in, got us tickets straight away. All I wanted some was some fucking popcorn. That's all I wanted. Mm. We're gonna get sweet and solid. Oh, just sweet. I got a mix. Nice. Yeah. I like a mix. I like a mix. Yeah, you don't like a mix. You're strictly sweet, aren't you? I won't waste my money on the popcorn. Strictly it's ex- sweet. <laughs> it's too expensive. It's a rip That's like your screen name on a date. That's, that's another it. argument well, it's altogether. Strictly sweet. Yeah, like I'm on, on tum- <laughs> Tinder or something. No salt. <laughs> strictly sweet. Sweet only love. With, on, on with a salty dash. I don't want you salting him. <laughs> oh. oh, someone always oh, has. You're minging. You are minging. So um, Go on, then. I queued for 25 minutes to get some sweet to get and sour some popcorn. Effing popcorn because there was people buying tickets for their films at the fucking kiosk oh yeah Ooh, so I yeah, pre-booked my tickets yeah, I did pre-book my tickets and I printed them off as I went through the door oh, I that's wanted good, but pop- you just wanted the popcorn you take your own stuff I know I should have done did Finley go loaded up no it, w- it would have been too scary for him I think Jesse was a bit scared he's too equal yeah isn't he? he is too at least three and can you imagine if he starts kicking off in the middle and I've got to leave I'll be pissed yeah. I wouldn't have been no you wouldn't have been mate. you could have taken him <laughs> yeah, Finn, you could have taken him go. to the logger <laughs> Let's go, Finn. We'll go to Five Guys. Did it have the same music? Yes. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Everything in UK cinemas is a rip-off, says Mad Mac. It's yes, true. It Correct. Is. Yeah. There's, it, it pisses you off when you stood there and you want some popcorn, and there's a guy like going, yeah. 
I'll have a hot dog and mm. some nachos. Cheese and sauce, and extra cheese. Yeah, I want a, a chili dog. Jalapenos and it's there. like, how much shit are you getting? You could have watched like have eight egg. films. Yeah. Do they sell chili La- dogs? Big fat fast city world. Um, you still get free parking there. Large court. Uh, it depends. If it's after six, they'll bag validate of, your ticket. If it's bag, not, you've got to pay. Bag of minstrels. Oh, a bag of minstrels. Ooh, bag of Maltesers. Ooh, bag Re- of peanut M&Ms. Oh, Re- yes. What's, what's your favourite cinema snack, man? We went through this. <sighs> did we? We've already done this. Yeah, you did the cheese nachos. Week. What did you Sorry. have for your tea? <coughs> I didn't listen. Fish and chips. Oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, Chinese. Doug says in Canada it's an absolute bitch kisser as well. Well, there you go. Yeah. Canadia. Canadia. I bet it's a fucking damn should place. I live in Canadia. Should we throw it up into Mixler again? What? If they want to ask us any have questions. Have you got any questions Come for, on, the, Mixler. for the three cuckoos? Before we go, Get how us. long How long have we done, Rob? Excuse me while I whip out my questions. Uh, we've done an hour and 22 minutes, Mark. Nice. Have you yes. got the... Um, There's plenty of time. The B&B promo. The B&B... No, I don't. Oh, you're fucking useless. <laughs> $23 for a drink, popcorn and a candy. What's... Twenty three dollars. Canadian like, dollars. What's that like? Eighteen to... quid for a drink, popcorn, and what? What's the candy? Sweet. It's like chocolate bar in it or something. A yeah, ca- it'd be like candy's just a, a bag of M&Ms. like a marathon. A bag it? of yeah, it will be worth it. Like a yeah. bag of crunchy yeah minstrel Marathons. goodness. That, God, that's pricey, isn't it? That's yeah, like yeah. worse than it is over here. Come on, Mixler. Anyone want to know anything? Anyone? Did you get it poured out of a golden goblet directly into your Rob, trough. Rob's That's got a the golden answers. vagina. Goodbye. What? What were you going to say then? <laughs> Nothing. You got cut off. Do you, want, uh, do you want another trail? Yeah, go on. Let's do a trail while people of think of questions. Yeah. Ask us. <laughs> He's on. What's the story? We were able to save the left arm. I thought we agreed on total body prosthesis. Now lose the arm, okay? Jesus, Mark. Can, can you understand what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. We're going to blank his memory anyway. Well, I think we should lose the arm. What, what do you think, Johnson? Well, he signed the release forms and he joined the force. He's legally dead. We can do pretty much what we want to. Lose the arm. Shut him down. Prep him for surgery. We get the best of both worlds. The fastest reflexes modern technology has to offer onboard computer-assisted memory and a lifetime of on-the-street law enforcement programming. It is my great pleasure to present to you... The Three Cuckoos Podcast. That is apparently Nerdy Vixen's favouritest movie of all <clears throat> all time. What is? Robocop. Nerdy Vixen. Does she like the Criterion version? It's the melted guy, isn't it? The melty to, yeah. guy. Get some it's a wicked film. She needs to get some tasty movies. It's, it's a wicked um, film, first. It's fucking dreadful. It's Paul Verhoeven. Yeah. Let's just say That's that. why it's good. It's just Verhoeven. That's what he's like. I had to kill Bob Morton because he made a mistake. Starship Troopers, oh, yeah. you loved Star. Yeah. You love Starship Troopers. Used to watch it every Medic. week. You used to watch it every day. The wicked right? film. Right? I'd get to Mark's house and he'd be like, "Oh, you've missed this. We'll watch it again <laughs> on Laserdisc. We'll start it from on Laserdisc." I'd be like, "Well, fuck, thank Christ for that." I love Starship Troopers. Yeah, it was on wicked. VHS. Oh, I loved it. Best I had that. Ever. It was my first DVD. So it was on double sided. What was your first? Your first DVD was that. My first DVD was The Usual Suspect. Uh, my came first with the DVD, player. DVD came with the DVD player. Yeah. Blair Witch and that. Um, I Blair had, Witch and that. I got. It was like a box, and it came with three. So it came with Analyze This, <laughs> which is terrible. <sighs> it came with City of Angels. So and, is that Nicolas Cage? It, yes, oh, yeah. and Meg Ryan. Uh, that <laughs> was the, that was the film with um, Goo Goo Dolls, oh, Iris in it, it wasn't it? Oh yeah, because I'd never <laughs> seen it. I'd give up forever if I could stop this fucking film. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and um, 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 Deep Blue Sea. Rubber. Oh, that's all right. Samuel. That's all oh, right. That one bad, yeah. And I bought the Matrix. Yeah. Obviously. Obviously, oh, Robo- yeah. Doug says Robocock was good. Was it? Doug? I've not seen that. I bet that was Verhoeven as well. Yeah, <laughs> probably. It was Ed Two O Nine in it? Didn't he do it'll, Sugar? It'll have been Head Two O Nine. Head Two O Nine inches. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> high five! Head Two O Nine inches. Did he do Sugar Girls? Yeah. Uh, yes, and he did Basic wow. Instinct. Wow. And he did Total Recall. Wow. Two weeks. Two. Two weeks. weeks. Two weeks. Get your ass to Mars. Get your ass to Mars. This is Johnny oh, Cat. Here we go. I am a Johnny Cat. <laughs> Here we Sue go. Sue me, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> so many good lines. Uh, what was it? See you at the party, Victor. Love that. Love like that. Commander. And he breaks his, his, like, some steam. his arms come off. Because the <laughs> Bennett does. <laughs> what can I say? Can I say? Right, this week, this is my guilty pleasure. Forgive me, cuckoos, for I have sinned. Um, oh, God. He's done it. I went on Netflix, right? <gasps> and um, I couldn't <gasps> find it. I, you know, when you're just flicking through, <gasps> hence the name. And um, Expendables 3 was on there. Oh, I've seen it. I've seen it on there. And I thought, shall I? The number, <laughs> number two was awful. I mean, it did was really it? terribly he bad. Did it. He did it, I can tell. Yeah, I did, yeah. 
Dolph's Dolph's in it. I quite enjoyed it. Did you did you hear they got I rid did. of um, I liked it. Louis Walsh from Louis the X Factor. Louis Walsh. You know, yeah, no, did, yeah. that, that did sound like God, actually. replaced him with Nick Grimshaw. <laughs> yeah, and Rita yeah. Ora, isn't it? Rita Ora. And Another reason gone. not to watch it. Yeah, Dermot's gone. They replaced him with Ollie Bush and um, <laughs> Caroline <laughs> Flack. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, she'll ride anything. <laughs> yeah, I <had> me. <laughs> I don't lass. Um, so, yeah, Ollie Murs. And um, yeah, but um, it's going to be Caroline. No, it's oh, wait, Nick Grimshaw. <laughs> she can Nick, ride Nick me. Rita Ora. Fucking Nick Grimshaw. Yeah. Rita Ora. I don't get it. Me. Who else? Who else? I watched the TFI Friday well, re- reboot. Cheryl Is Fernandez she, Vecini. She's still going to be yeah. on it though. Is that just Cheryl Cole? And Simon really? Cowell. Yeah, it's still Cheryl Cole. Did you watch the TFI Friday thing? I did. Yeah, I did. It was really good. Yeah, it was good. It was yeah. funny. Wasn't it? it wasn't as good as I remember, but it was still good. It was good. And they were showing little clips and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I've got Chris Evans as going to be presenting yeah, Top, top Gear. Gear yeah so well, that's that. another show I won't watch I kind of like Chris they're, they're putting a sort of female side woman with him well uh, he said co-host. he said he would not do it if it was going to be Hammond and May because apparently they were all really good friends and he yeah. was like I don't want to step on anybody's toes but then as soon as they went oh we're not going to do it they said that ages ago and they, they spoke yeah. to him about it apparently and he went oh well I'll do it then. he's massive in cars though isn't he so. <laughs> he's massive in the cars big time he sells them doesn't he buys them and sells them for like millions did you hear Rowan Atkinson Jody sold Kidd. his McLaren F1? Did Jody Kidd presented Yeah, it? that's the that's the female leader. <laughs> exactly. Really? Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Um yeah, Rowan Atkinson sold his McLaren F1. He bought it for six hundred grand back in the nineties and he sold it for about four point eight yeah. million. Engine, engine made of gold. And he's uh he's smashed it up like Love three times gold. as well. So it's not bad. Mr. Bean's doing all right for himself. Well, Johnny for English, a isn't it? of letters down then. No questions from Mick. No though. questions. No. Doug says if you want to watch Zombievers, then we can. Uh, uh, Lawn says Showgirls was a classic, and Zombievers <laughs> kicks ass. Um, and Doug says he's having a crisis. Why? Why are you having What's a crisis? The crisis Doug? <laughs> What's the crisis, Doug? Maybe we can help. Yeah. Get some cuckoo <laughs> Agony advice. Uncles. Yeah. Mad Max saying Ollie Murs came from X Factor. He did. He did. He did. From X Factor. Yeah. Who says that? Uh, Mad Max. All right, Mad Max. In those trees. Ollie Murs. <laughs> Caroline! Sorry. Huh? Um, do, we want? <laughs> do you want to do a Rita Ora for us, Mark? I don't think I can. That's the Rita! That's like a, go on, you can I don't do think it. you can. I, I can't do it. Can. It's a weird one to do that, yeah. isn't it? Rita He's going to struggle. Ora. He's going to record do that millions yeah. of times before yeah. he gets he'll, it right. He'll do it. He'll do it. He's good. Yeah. Nick Grimshaw's a bit of a weird one, actually. Nick, Nick, Nick Say Say yeah. <laughs> Say that. Useless. Cheryl Fernandez Vecini. I bet he has a right field day with that. Oh, he'll love that. He'll love that he'll love shit. That. Definitely. Yeah, it rolls off the Have tongue. Have we found out what Doug's crisis is? I want to know. Doug's having a crisis. Doug, what's the crisis? What's the crisis, Doug? Doug! <laughs> Douglas. Douglas. Get the shit out of me, man. Douglas. Douglas. Doug, tell us the crisis. Douglas. Um, He's right. Really well, if I tell you something, if that's if that's it, then that's it. And the you, you've had your chance to ask us questions. Yeah, you have. And um, you've let you us down. could have asked anything. Listeners. You anything. could have asked anything. anything. Leanne said anything. Somebody said, where's Leanne? And can I just state for the record? Who said that? She's on another podcast, not ours, right? Yeah. yeah. Last week was... She's a guest. Yeah. She's a guest. Exactly. She's a guest quiz. Who asked that? Um, I think... I don't know. Hang on. She's not part of our podcast. Oh, right. Nerdy Vixen says, what's your absolute favouritest film of ever? Of oh, ever time? Oh, Jesus. Marcus, what's your favourite? Oh, you put me on the spot. Uh, probably like... Um, Usual Suspects, I reckon. Shawshank. Shawshank. Uh, no, probably... Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, probably that. Hooch. Turner and Hooch. Turner and Hooch. Mal- Empire, yeah. for Empire. Yeah, I think <laughs> that would be up there with my, my favourite films of all time. That was Lorne. That's where Leanne is. Where's the skirt? <laughs> Lorne, all you did was give a dog's abuse. Yeah, you did actually, yeah. Even after the show on Twitter, you were appalling, yeah, Lorne. You should be man. ashamed of yourself. You shouldn't treat ladies what, like that. What would you go for your favourite film? My favourite film? Yeah. Oh, um, it something with fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, it is. It is. You fucking Terminator. Prick. It is Terminator. Yeah. Oh, because no, we had, we had this year, yeah. ages ago when we first started the podcast. I said that because it's like, not only is it my favourite film, yeah. I'm not saying it's the greatest film ever, it's not, um, but... It's my favourite film because I remember I remember it from yeah, yeah I, I yeah. watched it when I was a little kid yeah. and it stayed with me for years and I know what words not words to it. What's your favourite film of ever of ever time? I don't. Battleship Potemkin. Yeah, 
Battleships with um, with <laughs> Rihanna. Battleships. God, that was that awful. was awful. Oh. It looked with Rihanna. You saw the trailers for you. That looks the really special good. effects were awesome in it. It was fucking garbage. Oh, film. God. The in fact, guy, I turned yeah. it off. The guy who was like on the mainland, who was obviously he was. They used like real people, didn't they? Who worked yeah. on the ships, and he was just the shittest actor. Yeah, I mean, was he wasn't awful. an actor, but God. It was shit. It was awful. So what do you think, Tim? Come on. It probably would be Empire or something. I think it just depends on what mood I'm in, though, for a favourite film. See, now I'm worried now, you see, because they've just wrecked, that's it, Jurassic Park World wrecked that franchise. You see, you see. It's one of my favourite ones. And now I'm worried that they're going to do the same with Star Wars. Episode one was bad. Yeah, it was. Really bad. They got better, though. They got better, Yeah. yeah. I'm worried that they're going to do the same with Star Wars now. You see, make it awful. I thought Jurassic World, and it's getting really hot, high reviews. Honestly, it is. It's I ga- don't get it. Guardian it Empire, shit. Time Magazine, all that shit. Ridiculous. Giving it all like four out of five and five out of five and stuff. Um, Mad Max said Die Hard, definitely his favourite oh, film ever. God, and we know what fucking level we're working with here. Uh, Lorne says uh, Leanne loved the uh, the slander. She didn't. She I- told me. <laughs> She says she's uh, going to send you things in the post, lawn, And it won't be her used knickers. <laughs> no, it won't. It'll be like old toenail clippings and stuff. Ooh. Come on, love Tim. That. Make a decision. Go on. Yeah, I think it's going to have to be Empire. Yes. Do you think so? Yeah. It, I think it has to be. Does it? St- <sighs> <laughs> Jesus. No, Why are we with, giving him a that. choice? Go with that. What are you yeah. like when you go out for your tea? <laughs> Someone gives you a menu. Food. I'm a bit of a bitch with the menu. I've got Ab- Ab- Abs has just eaten. She's on the cocktails at the bar. And mm. Tim's like, do I go with the patty? <laughs> Still on the start. Started, yeah. I, I hate missing out <laughs> at Should restaurants. Should I go prawn crackers or olives while I wait to choose my starts? <laughs> you go to a restaurant that gives you prawn crackers or olives? Yeah. <laughs> so, what the fuck kind of restaurant is that? Uh, this Chinese is Chinese Spain. fusion. <laughs> go to all you can eat and then you can have a bit of everything. What the fuck? <laughs> Do I have the prawn crackers or the olives? <laughs> I've I found out Doug's <laughs> crisis. Mr. Bean crashes one million pound car. That's his crisis. Well, it's not really your crisis. It's not, it's not unless your that's crisis, Rowan Atkinson. I, oh, maybe. What film would you make your worst enemy watch? Oh, um, Terminator. <laughs> no, it's got to be Jurassic Shark because that is horrifically bad. Oh, it's not even a. Fi- uh, I wouldn't even class that as a film. Actually, I've got to admit. Probably Mockingjay Part One. <laughs> Yeah, Tim loves that film. Oh, it God, was it's, all right. Oh, it's terrible film. It was all right. <laughs> uh, maybe something like um, um, like Burlesque or Crossroads <laughs> or something. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because they were really, pretty, uh, like, pretty painful. Really was sick, sick, sickly dire. Had. What was the one you had? It was that bad, I can't remember. Uh, you had uh, the one with S Club 7 in. Doug, is your favourite film Total Recall? Or are you saying that's what you'd make your worst enemy watch? The new Total one or the old one? Oh, the new one's garbage. I won't, I won't yeah. go there. The old one's good. I think Total Recall's Doug's favourite film. Yeah. Uh, Mad Max said The Spirit is his... Oh. Is that your worst? Because that's my worst film. That was on ITV8 oh, that's, the other day. It's Doug's worst. Yeah, it's that's terrible. Cool. The bit on the plane is ridiculous. No, Doug's saying the worst is Total Recall. Really? Good yeah. man, Doug. What's good your favourite film, Doug? You see, I'm not a Verhoeven fan. That's the only problem I had. Total Recall was like... Oh, I know. Well out there. I know. I know. Avatar. D- Whoa, did you not? Because now, it's really long. It's really and it's long. It's really, really shit. And there's an obtainium in it. Do you know what? Just the 3D got me in, and then yeah. I saw it in 2D, and it doesn't. The most. Doesn't I've only ever seen Surely yeah, the most do overhyped movie yeah. I've ever they seen. Well, they're doing in my two, life. three, and four, you know. I won't watch them. The first one was dreadful. But Doug L says Star Wars is his favourite film ever. Yeah. Uh, and Empire's better than Star Wars. Yeah. Lawn Mower Man 2 is Lo Fi's worst oh. ever. <laughs> Lawn Mower Man. I've never seen number two. two. It's terrible. I've never was seen Keanu Reeves in the first one. No. I think it was the it was... Johnny Mnemonic I'm thinking of. It was uh, Pierce Brosnan. The Lo Fi show have described it as a shit to the face. <laughs> <laughs> that was on the back like of the box, that. that. Yeah, it was. The Lo Fi show say it's like a shit to the face. Yes, Lo Fi show. No stars. <laughs> Like that. One cuckoo. <laughs> a shit to the face. <laughs> it's just got a lot of impact on it. That. Yeah, I like that. A shit to the face. Yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah, something like Avatar or um, what was that other one with that boat that sinks? Um, Titanic. Titanic. Just long and oh, just That was a love story out. though. You were, you were never going to like that. I didn't like that myself. Even it had been about a big rescue. boat drink, sinking and Dr- loads of drinking. people died drinking and loads of people died. It had been all right, but it won't. Yeah, I agree Pearl Harbor, that. that was awful. Oh. Pearl Harbor was pretty about Daredevil rubbish. with Ben Affleck? I've not seen that. Oh. Uh, what was that one with Nicolas Cage in? Which, motorbike. Oh, Ghost Rider. Oh, 
Yeah, that's pretty bad, his Ghost oh, Rider. They're pretty goddamn terrible. <laughs> I didn't mind. I, went, I watched the first one. I bought it off you, didn't I, the Ghost Rider? Because you bought it as, as the second one I got it off you because I'd not seen Rob, it. Rob, have you seen this? Do you want it? Ten quid? <laughs> no, because I wanted to watch it because it was supposed to be quite good. God. I can't remember And it was bad. The, I watched the second one Number as well. Number two is horrific. Yeah. That's really bad. <laughs> Good. This one's awful. I think my phone's going to die, peeps. Awful, awful film. I think it's going to die. Right, are we done? Are we done We're this done. week? Right, okay. That's Guys, just... Romeo done. thanks ever so much for listening. Uh, get us on Twitter, at 3 Cuckoos. Yeah. Mark, you can go to the blog, what? can't you, Mark? You can. The 3 Cuckoos <laughs> podcast dot dot WordPress dot dot com. Com. Yeah. That might change soon. You can email us. Yeah, it might. 3 Cuckoos at gmail.com. At gmail. You might be able to give us some money soon as well. Yeah, yeah. and if, if you're listening on Mixler Maybe. right now, yo, it's cool, isn't it? It's cool as Mixler, I love isn't it? Mixler. It's I like the interaction. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, wicked. Yeah, yeah, it adds yeah. a new dimension, even if it is with most... It's besides Vixen. the a bunch of wankers, <laughs> but, you know... <laughs> We, uh, they don't add yeah. much, do they? I'm turning to Luke from B&B. I don't know. I don't know. Um, all right, Just need cool. a, fuck you, green up! That's <laughs> <laughs> sorted. Good stuff. Excellent. All right. Well, uh, thanks a lot, guys. And come next week, this will be here. <laughs> oh, Tim's we're gonna, always here. Tim's going to come now. Ain't we? We're oh. always here. Yeah. Is this the normal time you record? Yes, about it is. About 8 o'clock. Yeah, about 8 o'clock. It's Greenwich Mean Time, Who's darling. Asking? Nerdy Vixen. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. usually this time. You Launches GMT, good show. Um, he loves us, and he thinks we're the most handsomest men he's ever seen. He didn't say Ooh. that. He said, "You show sure shit now, fuck off." You he said, bunch "Good of show, bastards. you wankers." At least we're not yeah. total cop outs, and we just do like a best of show. Oh, that out, <laughs> <laughs> twat. It's getting, it's getting really personal yeah. in here, right? Okay, all right. The best well, of show that I wasn't in, by the way. <laughs> you didn't get a, no, a mention. No, so fuck you, Lord. That's what he's Whoa. bitter about. Now yeah. it's coming out. Fuck now you, it's coming Lord. out. Right, it's coming out. Right, guys. Fuck Terminate. Thank you ever so much for joining our scabby little bastard asses. Um, same time next week, boys. Yeah, let's do it. It's Good. a date. Bye. Bye. Tweet us at Three Cuckoos on the Twitters. Just been through this. Email us three cuckoos at gmail.com or visit the blog, the Three Cuckoos Podcast. Dot WordPress. Dot com. com. Can I go, Can I go now? now? No. Three cuckoos, welcome to the show. Rock out here in stereo, cause he's never worn here. Give me slips from Sarah Milligan. Buy drinks a week, black child, once he's prostrate with sciatica. He's a grumpy, angry man. He's scared of dwarves and clowns. Tim, Tim, the techno geek. He likes to dance with Star Wars freaks. He likes to share facts. He's not as angry as man. And both his ears work Three Cuckoos Podcast Three Cuckoos Podcast Three Cuckoos Podcast It's a big fat Yorkshire podcast Three Cuckoos